have my cat money now. No. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. You guys. Level 8 hype train. Look what Achoo! you did. <laughs> Look what you did. You Thank made you for level 8 hype train. Ah. Made my nose bleed. I'm still gonna kiss Goob. Yay! Yay! What? I'm still gonna do <gasps> the level level 10 rewards, so it's a good day. How are you guys doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. How how is everybody, bros on the road too? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we start, like all of the cheers and subs and follows that like were queued up, I'll play immediately. So, <laughs> as we do our intros, there's just a constant like Taco Bell gong. Like, <laughs> incredible. Taco Bell gong over my bros on the road, too. Incredible. <laughs> it's like it's 2014. All over again. Hello, I hope you guys are doing wonderfully. We are bamboozled. Uh, dumbfounded, even. We are... Words. Incredibly <laughs> grateful. Have. Welcome to Tales of the Torn Veil. Thank you. I'm bleeding. I bled from my nose just now. Um, so thank you. Yes. Yes. What JC said. Incredibly grateful. Holy moly, level eight. Not only does that mean more bros on the road too. Not only... <laughs> not only does that mean panic. Uh, the the thing that I promised. I'm sorry. Okay, it means that we're gonna have fun today. What y'all did to her? <laughs> I'm on like three different time zones, and <laughs> all of the hay fever is good times. Not only, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. The horse is dead. I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, <laughs> Ludo can cook it. It's all good. Um, hello. It is so good to see y'all today. Um, thank you for all your support, genuinely. It means a lot. Goobs is gonna get kisses on the head. And there will be reward, as promised. See, I didn't, I didn't try that time. Sometimes you just gotta not try, and then it's all good. Um, if you... Never try, to... folks. <laughs> Never, Never literally. not once. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you haven't been here before, I am sorry. Uh, I am usually like 10% more brain. Um, today, mm -mm, eyes. <laughs> okay, 8%. Um, but welcome. This is Tales of the Torn Veil. Vale. We are a DD live play, actual play, DD, TTRPG, all of the, all of the acronyms you can ever dream of. Um, even a little bit of HVD. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, but with us today, uh ah, -uh, uh ah, -uh, phenomenal players. I'm British, so I say ah uh ah, -uh, and it actually makes sense. Um, <laughs> so we shall go in an ominous order. Ooh, that shit. Mm. Which is. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Which is. Oh, why is it red? <laughs> Cause look at the new background, it's all scary. <laughs> yep, yeah, it only resembles mm -hmm. the, one of the tarot cards completely accidentally. Or, or does it? Um, we will start with... He's in our hearts. He's He fights strong like a bear. He's our favorite fear bog because he's a beef on the stair hey. Hey, yo. the effort that went into that um, oh, yeah, i felt aneurysm. it <laughs> <laughs> smooth <laughs> bleeding from the mouth now hello dime how you doing 
Hi, the ominous order is uh, order of which who left their sandwich out in the rain. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I'm Dime Package. I left a sandwich out in the rain. Oh. Um, <laughs> That, that sounds like I song. play beef on the stairs, and um, you guys are awesome. Yep. Um, we're somewhere, uh, yeah. not dead, half dead, <laughs> we all dead. <laughs> yes. We died. Oh, just a little. We love Goob. <laughs> it's all about it. Oh, I didn't do anything. Oh. Nothing happened. Ignore that. <laughs> oh, oh, it's gravy. <laughs> Why is it gravy? <laughs> Why is it we gravy? are actually dead now. Did you make? Why did you yeah, make me, the me. sky gravy? <laughs> that is that is the view from us <laughs> in our coffins. <laughs> it's the dirt surrounding us. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we love Dime Package. Go check out Dime Package. Twitch the TV for slash Dime Package. Thank you, Scorpio. You do? Mod love. Mod love. Uh, next up in the completely ominous order of of name announcement figures. Um, her horns look like croissants. It's Camellia. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Hi. <laughs> Played by Woobs mixed up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Woobs. I mix up. I play Camellia Throws, a uh, Sunsader Ranger, Nepple Baby, maybe, uh, with a frog named Winnie, who also I have a little surprise for this special little stream. <gasps> I'm so excited. I don't know what it is. Uh, if y'all refresh your streams and then you look at the emotes, shut the fuck up. Hey. Ooh, I'm gonna have a new Hello. I'm gonna have a new nosebleed. <laughs> Thank you, Subdude Hughes, for letting me commission you for Winnie Emo. Wait, 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 where? Look it took so long spin. to refresh! Oh my <laughs> god! She's spinning. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Look at her go! I also added it to our uh D, D Discord. So if y'all want to uh, spam it there, you can too. Uh, Thank you again, Katie. Uh, Yo. He's so cute. This is <laughs> and this is how we break key further. Oh my fucking god! I'm already gone. <laughs> already long gone. Oh. If I was a pirate, I'd be long gone silver. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you so much. Go and check out rooms. <laughs> Go and check out check out the doodles. Thank you guys so much. That's so beautiful. I'm so happy. <laughs> Next up in the very ominous order that none of you have guessed yet, um, we have. Is there a seagull under that hat? Or are you just happy to see us? It's hey. Ludo! <laughs> it would have been so funny if I said it's Tarquin, actually. Uh, <laughs> it's Ludo by Annie, played by JC! Hello, I'm JC. Thanks for being on my channel. Thank you for being here on the six year anniversary of the text adventure and the ah! 23rd <laughs> episode of the Tales of the Torn Veil. Happy to be here, happy to host. Uh, thank you so much for the amazing hype train. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo woo. We will get into what the fuck that means. The six year anniversary of the text adventure shortly. Cause I will do my best not to run about it. Uh, because y'all, y'all know, y'all know me. Hi. Um, uh, but thank you so much. Check out JC right fucking here, but also over on YouTube with the amazing ASMRs, the chills. The games, all of the good stuff. You know, all these people down here, uh, underneath the ominous lantern, they are very talented. Including... I don't know what else to do other than... It's fucking Tarquin. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tarquin played by Darian Audio! 
Hey. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> thank you all for the love and support. And thank you, Keith, for the introduction and for massacring my boy. I'm Darian. Sorry. <laughs> and I'll Don't be planning the remaining parts of Tarquin. Because, oh, you know, no. <laughs> Some stuff happened, <laughs> but don't worry. He still has the beautiful hair, and there's still hope. Yes. Oh, I'm mad. So, what would have been worse if it was the ponytail or the arm? <gasps> no, the ponytail would be chaos. <laughs> she would be dead by now. That's yeah. not inaccurate. Yeah, very true. And you can absolutely go check out Darren over on YouTube as well. Doing the ASMRs and the good time voice acting, good time vibes. And hi, I'm Key. I've had two nosebleeds. I'm on like three time zones, and I have so many allergies all fighting each other to the to the death right now. Um, and I am so excited to play D and D with my lovely friends and you guys, cause you guys are also my lovely friends. And <laughs> please ignore that. Nothing I do today is uh, you. No, no one can sue me or ever tell me that it happened because it didn't. Um, so, for those who don't know, the Text Adventure series is basically the the parental figure of Tales of the Torn Veil. Uh, it started fucking out six years ago. <laughs> um, via facebook messenger of all things uh where me and a couple of friends were like bored and we just memed like oh we should visit each other after uni has ended and we just did it like it was a old school text adventure like you go into tavern it is weird and quiet what do you do um <laughs> and it just it spiraled out of fucking control honestly and now six years later we're here playing <laughs> uh, like a third branch to the world of Isafray, um, live on Twitch. So there you go. Um, but the series Organic. will hopefully, if, <laughs> the <laughs> series will hopefully one day comprise of an audio drama, um, or audio series, or some form of portrayal of the initial adventures um that i played with my good friends featuring arianu and liam uh two of the kind of original protagonists um i cannot wait for y'all to meet arianu and liam and prio and the whole original gang the original poultry um as sidekick swan who is a duck whole other thing friends is not the, again friends is not the first <laughs> um waterfowl compatriot of a party of adventurers who's had to stand outside of a room where two people are fucking uh in a tavern um alas uh he has found himself in that situation as well though um and the other form is obviously on our twitter uh, we have the Tale of the Alchemist, which is uh, a series created pretty much entirely by you guys and your choices. You guys created the protagonist, y'all guys choose what options the protagonist follows, and it will be uh, continuing as soon as I get time. <laughs> but it is ongoing, and it's very cool, and it was a really interesting narrative experiment uh, for how to develop a story with a huge group of random internet friends um so yeah and now of course tales of the torn veil which is which is the ship and uh yeah you're watching it's it. brilliant surprise <laughs> i think it's really cool um because mm. my friends helped me make it really cool and they they make it really cool i'm just here enabling everyone involved um yes and if you missed it i've lost the link oh no call me zelda because i have lost the link <laughs> you have a blood moon coming out your face i really do <laughs> link the blood moon is rising i'm running out of tissues um <laughs> we are playing bingo today 
Keeping up with the times. Gen Z's love nothing more than a good game of bingo. Hell um, yeah. So y'all can click on that link, generate one, that is one singular, uh, bingo ticket. And if you are able to complete a row or a column or a diagonal, you can let us know and send me a DM with a link to the picture, either here or on uh, Discord. If you then via the rest of the session managed to cross off more so you get a row that hasn't got the free space or indeed the full card itself which please yell out in chat if you get the whole bloody card then there might be some little gifty gifty goose for in it for you all in it isn't that excited mm. isn't that how much excited? is the part today i need my medication <laughs> Well, some of our coffee rewards will be available, uh, such as things like naming NPCs, maybe some arty bits and such, and maybe Ooh. as as you discover more and more of your uh, checkboxes, you, you, you indeed shall be able to boost your prize further. So if you get one row, including the free space, you get to name an NPC. If you get a row that doesn't include the free space, you get an NPC and a sketch. And if you get the whole fucking card, well, you'll just have to get the whole fucking card and see. Um, and yeah, other things as we go along, and I see fit, because <laughs> I'm the boss and I've had nosebleeds, so it could go any direction. But yes! Um, all of that business done, is there anything else before we get started and we turn off Bros on the Road and get really serious? Hi, Marka! Hi, Marka! How are you doing That's there, Marka? That's one. <laughs> I love there this. Go. Did I get... Oh, I don't have that on my card. <laughs> Dang it! I have a lot of chameleon ones, and Tarkin ones, actually. Wait, dad joke is made. I've made a couple of those. Hell yeah. Not purposely. I don't think I'm gonna win, even though I'm the fucking DM. Anyway, Bros on the Road is over. We will say hello and thank you all collectively for today. But we do see you all. We do appreciate you all. My voice is going. Emo puts lonely rolling star in my head. <laughs> just, I got Katamari just buzzing in my brain right now. <laughs> I've got the little do 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 Tilda the Tarvale. Shall we? Yes! Whoa! We don't need music for this first part. So. We shan't do a recap. We'll just get straight into it. I think. Drowning in air. The land once stood on by you all, raising above your waists, necks, heads in all but the slow blink of your eyes. Your vision succumbs to the darkness of the depths below. Is this what it is to be consumed by the veil? A gentle, arcanic net cradling you before slicing through you unnoticed like piano wire. Sorry, the, do the word document scrolled up. If you have key looks for law, you can cross it off on your bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> A gentle, arcanic neck cradling you before slicing through you unnoticed like piano wire. Ending life before the consciousness can even notice. Perhaps. The present much more resembles plummeting 
with an undignified feeling of being buried alive as clumps of earth and dirt fall onto you, around you getting caught in every crevice and crease of your face and throat as the sun vanishes from view. And the sounds of shocked screams come almost instantly to a muffled halt. You're unsure if you're alone, deaf, blind, or even alive. When one's eyes are closed, one experiences one's own darkness, a personalised shade. Fractals of light and colour dot and speckle your vision like a sky of stars flashing just for you. What images present themselves to you in this sky? as everything turns to black. We'll start with B form. What? No, seriously, DM, what? <laughs> when B form closes his eyes, <laughs> Sorry. After no, you're okay. After this chaotic moment of seeing gimmick again, feeling the tremors beneath the earth, seeing a rip establish in the veil around you before the ground falls beneath you and everything goes to black into silence. As Bifon closes his eyes, what images does he see? Does he see anything? No. Does anyone see anything as they close their eyes and embrace this darkness below them? I think Camellia will think about home, her mom, all the events that kind of led up to this point. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just in the middle of an existential crisis. That's all. Don't worry. <laughs> Valid. And no is a valid answer. <laughs> no is completely a valid answer. As you contemplate your sky, your darknesses, images or lack thereof, you see a dim light breaching the darkness. A dull but soothing red. A slight metallic creak echoes out across this seemingly endless space. And should you look around, eyes now seemingly open, you'd see only a dark mist dappled with your lights and visions, or lack thereof. The light in the distance beacon calls to you. Does anyone go towards it? Definitely. Okay. Do I see, when I look around, do I see my friends? Do I see anything? You only see this dark mist and the beacon. Oh, shit. When I call out, do I hear my voice? A faint echo rings back towards you after about three seconds. Hollower. Right. Ludo's probably swimming through the void, periodically calling out the names of the different Breakfast Club members. Roll a Christmas saving throw for me, please. Friends? Dark Queen! Friends are still safely tucked away in your hat. <laughs> Be fun! <laughs> the new one! Wow. This counts as bullying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I 
I got a love. 20 on the Christmas save. <laughs> nice. GG. Saratwana. Saratwana. Okay. Tarquin, are you looking around? Are you heading towards the beacon? Yeah. Okay. Roll a Christmas save for me, please. Anyone who is making their way towards Downtown. the beacon. That's the four. <laughs> Ooh. A four. Ooh. Noted. Nothing immediately happens. More of a meta thing. Got an 11. Thank you. Okay. Be fun rolling or you Oh my say? god. <laughs> Everybody did. Ludo, you have to carry on. Huh? Rick, just you for all, a while. You <laughs> all slowly manage to wade your way towards the beacon, though as you do, this thick mist feels as if it crosses your vision, holds you back, almost cold to the touch. But it, it's not magical, it's not inherently like any mist you've come across before. Luto, as you traverse this mist, arguably, potentially slightly faster due to a roll, mm. you see slightly ahead of you is that a bingo <laughs> you see slightly ahead of you a blonde person kind of is just peeking out either side of a braid just ahead of you her back turned to you Umberlai? What are you doing here? Are you okay? As you get closer, you see that this form is too short to be Umberlai. The way she turns round, you still recognize them as Megrin Toastcoat. One of your group from back in your cookery school days. Oh, time to do some scrolling up. <laughs> She's a halfling chef. Kind of with a large braid that curls round her shoulder. And in front of her with this ah, I see her. kind okay. of dark tattoo crossing her nose and cheeks. Oh, Luto, you scared me. What are you doing here? I'm a little toasty. Wait, what are you doing yeah. here? Oh, what do you mean, what am I doing here? We're going out on that mission soon, yeah? To the island, to the north? To look for something to cook? Toasty. Chef? <laughs> toasty. Yeah? You're dead. What are you talking about? Come on, that's not funny. Uh, oh. I is Chef here? Yeah, he's right over there. And as she points, do you, fol do you follow where she points to? Absolutely. Uh, you don't see anyone. Oh. Okay. Let's go, but first hug for Luto. As you look back to her, she's gone. Oh, he's there with his arms open. <laughs> I hate 
I hate this. I am the writer of my own downfall. Toasty? Meg? I'm Kuya. The bag. Kuya Luna, what are you, what are you talking about? <gasps> Come on, we're meant to be on the boat like five minutes ago. You see another familiar face. Whistles. Fun guy. Kind of Hawaiian floral shirt. Some shorts on. Oh, there's Whistles. my little guy. How you doing, what Whistles? What are you doing? And then it was gone like five minutes ago. I was just looking for you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, I was looking for my hug. It's been a long time since you hugged me, Whistles. Kinda looks you looks at you incredulously. <sighs> okay, but promise not to squash me this time. Nope. And I squash him. Ah. And you, you you kind of your arms manage to touch where their form would be. If their form was there, but it doesn't feel like a hug. It, it feels like you're going through the motion, but there's no soul there. Okay, without looking, with his eyes still closed, imagining that he's still there. Where you been, Whistles? You been okay? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I've been at this boat waiting for you for the last ten minutes. Yeah, where's my fish pancakes? I've been waiting. What do you mean? We're going to the island so that we can make fish pancakes. Okay. Okay, Whistles, let's go. Alright, you first, big guy. Ugh. Yeah, get in the boat. Uh, you don't see a boat there. Uh, why don't you get started, Whistles? I'll catch up. There's no response. Okay. And with that, you make your way through the rest of the mist. And we move to Tarquin. Hi, Tarquin. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys! I'm sorry, I love you guys. You're not sorry. Come on, pick me up, I'm scared. <laughs> A Tarquin. A crow flies back. A crow! Ah! <laughs> Just echoes. Oh! Oh! As you make your way through the mist, you feel the same familiar, well not familiar, but the same cold, hollow grasp of this mist. And as you look ahead, quite far in the distance, but clear as day, you see Kind of a monkey folk person and a tabaxi, a very young tabaxi, playing together, kind of half training, half just goofing off. And as they see you, um, the monkey folk kind of stands taller than the short tabaxi. You know them as Tizu and Mai. And as soon as Mai sees you, you hear her giggle, which you could hear from miles away if you knew where to listen. <laughs> and she jumps as she waves at you. 
Do you make your way closer? Yes, yes, yes. As you do, in front of you apparates this being another tabaxi woman kind of this thin fabric hood and clothing on wearing the uniform and outfit of the Miermo Mon Monastery And where do you think you're going? What do you mean? I'm going to train with my friends. Who are you? <sighs> what do you mean, who am I? Is that any way to talk to your master? And she gives you a slight smirk. Ah, is this one of your tricks? Trying to get you out of your training, huh? And you um, recognize uh, this to be Master Willen, who trained you. Uh, no, Master Willen. I, I, I just, um, you know, I, I wanted to admire the surroundings. Mm-hmm. Well, that sounds like an excuse to not train to me. Uh, you know, I'm ready. I am the strongest one in here. Come on. I know you are, and that is why you cannot train with the others. Now, come on. One more round. Aww. And as you kind of glance past her, you see that Tizu and Mai have gone. Uh, where are they? Tizu, Mai. And looking back, Master Willen becomes one with the mist. What is going on? And as she does, you make your way to the beacon. Camelia. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you see Miss. Dar, the cold grasp as you push through, push forward. The voice hits you before the visual does. And where do you think you're going? Uh, Have you forgotten the tour we're doing of the establishment later? What? You recognize the voice of your mother. Mom? Well, come on now. What are you waiting for? I... What are you... I'm, the higher-ups will not be impressed if we are late. I'm, I'm looking for my friends. Where... What do you what? mean? Look, you can talk to them later. Right now, we need to make our way to the Fragmentium. Yes, ma'am. This isn't how this conversation went. This isn't how this conversation went. You kind of squint your eyes closed. Trying to figure out what's going on. Camelia! Huh? Come on, it's time! Where are you? Uh, I... I don't know where I am. Well, find yourself and get down here so we can go on the tour of the Fragmentium. The higher-ups will never look at me the same if we're late. Do you know how hard it was to get this appointment? Yes, ma'am. That's not how this went. That's not 
how this went. It's not how this went. You don't see her form, but you sense the voice dissipate. Camellia. That is you. <laughs> oh my god, I have been looking for you everywhere. Have I got some information for you? You don't see the form again. But you know the voice. The voice of your friend from the court of extravagance who gives you all of the details. Well, enough of the details as they're able to. Now, come on, we need to go and catch up. It's been far too long, and your mother's held a bit too much of a grasp on you. Wait, where are you? I can't see you. What do you mean? I'm right here. You don't see his centaur form here. But for a moment you sense him before his voice, his presence too, fades away. And before too much longer, you two find your way to the beacon. Be fun. Hi. <clears throat> the mist surrounds you, and though the light of the beacon makes itself present to you and known to you, you find its light slipping from your grasp more than you'd like. Leaving only the occasional flash of red to remotely guide your way. What do you do? I'll try not to trip and fall over this natural one. I'm... to start walking. You begin walking towards what feels like the lantern, what you hope is the lantern. Very, very faint echoes. Voices that you can't quite place. Presences you know you had in spaces but can't quite recall pop into your mind. Very briefly, you see a woman. Blonde, very prettily dressed, leaning up against something with a tiefling man by her side. They're very heavily marred by the mist and the dark. 
but you do recognise them. It's Umbelow Noctor. What do you do? to keep moving towards the light. As you keep moving, you see them watch you. We believe in you. You can do it. Just keep focused. Their voices are very quiet and incredibly reverberation y. Reverberate y. You get the gist. Very echoey yeah. as you walk past. But their words do help you move forwards. And you believe, after some time, that you're able to make it to the beacon. No. Luto, you were the first, indeed, to make it to the beacon. As you arrive, you see up close the red lantern. The closer you grow, you see it grows, glows with a warm orange light, this kind of alien turquoise outline around the edge of its glow as you near. Around it are a few small humble beds and other camping equipment, a little campfire. Surrounding it with a rounder 30 foot or so perimeter or area where you are seemingly safe from this mist that surrounds this beacon. At the centre, you see. A figure, hunched over, kind of almost with an arm wrapped around the base of the lantern as they sit and work on something between their hands under the light of the beacon. Seemingly alone. Do I recognize this figure? Roll an investigation check. Oh, dang. Perception. I be smart. Uh, also, actually, first thing I'm gonna do, well, I guess, let's figure out if this person's safe or not. Mm-hmm. Friend or foe? How long have I, how long have I been floating? Like, can I perceive in terms of time, like how long, how much time has passed? Uh, that'll be a survival check for me, okay. please. That was a nine in the perception check. The survival mm-hmm. check is gonna be. You cannot tell who this is or if you indeed recognize them. 17. They are the back of a person. You have a strange feeling having been only ever familiar and accustomed to the way of land on Isifrae. That wherever you are, there is either a semblance of or an actual shift in the way that time works. Whatever mist state you were in, it you can't help but feel like it's been quite a long time since you initially fell down here. Oh no. Or in here, wherever here it may be. Okay. The the reason I asked is because there's mm-hmm. a finite amount of oxygen in a bag of holding. So I immediately, I immediately pull out the fridge <laughs> and uh, open it and reach in for the kid. Okay. Mm. 
Oh no. How mean am I? Don't kill a kid! Don't kill a kid! You know what? He just got reunited with his parents. <laughs> he just saw his mom again. Let me get the blood dice because the blood oh. dice is lucky. At least he's not a wolf anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta see his he did get to see his mom. We did hey, we did bring him back. <laughs> Job done. JC. Hi or low, my darling. Oh no! Uh Bluto is low. Go for Bluto. Oh, that's a dead kid. Role. Oh, it's oh my a dead God. kid roll. I felt it. Um, um, as you open the fridge, as somewhat expected, mm. you see, at the very least, an unconscious, closed eyed Kinry fall out onto the ground. Okay. I uh, pick him up and hastily set him on one of the beds, and I hit him with a d6 of uh, warlock healing. Are you just ever gonna hit him? Yeah, I just <laughs> spank him. Bam! Follow. <laughs> Holy, oh, wake up! <laughs> roll for CPR. <laughs> yeah. You have to roll at CPR at the right rate of CPR. Um, <laughs> yeah, roll, roll your d6 for healing. Because either way, you're healing the kid, so. So I, okay, I, I set him down and I gently put a hand on his shoulder and that's three points of healing. Okay. As you're anxiously waiting, kind of casting the spell onto him, <laughs> the familiar voice of Esamek comes into the back of your head. He is weak. But he's alive. You are optimistic. I promised to bring him back to his mom, and then I took him away again. It is good to have faith. <coughs> what the frick hey. have you got in there, man? It stinks! <coughs> I cleaned it. Hey, I cleaned it very good. But you're safe. Oh my god. <coughs> Gods. Does he look okay? Does he look immediately okay? Does he look like does he have extra estimic eyeballs on his face or anything? Um, a bit sweaty. Um, a bit alarmed. A bit very alarmed, but uh, undoubtedly alive. Okay, you're you're good. Stay stay right there. Okay, just stay. <sighs> and then I'm gonna turn towards the person sta standing by the chrono triggery um, lamppost. They're kind. <laughs> they're kind of like. L sitting, like Death Note L, kind of sitting just next to slash it around the lamp. Awesome. And prior they were looking away, but now they've just got a very gentle eye on you from over their shoulder. I kind of give them the, uh, you know, the thing where you nod your chin upward, kind of so. Kind of squints at you for a second. Oh, who are you? He kind of scooches round on his hands, lifting his feet off the ground, kind of keeping his little posture going. And he sits cross legged and fully faces you. Who are you? I am Luto. This is Kinry. Who are you? Kind of looks at you incredulously. Luto. Kinry. Luto Kinry. Luto Kinry. Not ringing a bell. Luto Kinry. Luto Kinry. Mm. You 
sees him fiddle with something in his hands again that he looks down at. I'm friends with Tarquin. He's pretty famous. I'm gonna make a roll. <laughs> Tarquin. Tarquin? Looks like Henry Tarquin. Tarquin. Tarquin I might have heard of. Hmm, yes. Tar... Tar... You see he kind of is looking towards you, but he's looking past you at the same time. Uh, feels a little bit rude, but... <laughs> um, you can roll another perception check or an insight check, of course, at this time, should you wish. I'll roll an insight check. Hey, have you seen, like, a bird... Or like a deer, or a man, or like another man. A bird, a deer, a man, and man. Louis Dokinry Tarquin. Is one of these a bird? Look at me. How are you all here? Maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. I didn't make any food. <laughs> right now, it's just me and Kinri. I have some food. With a 21. With all respect. Um, at a simple glance from the front, you can see that this kind of elven man... Um, potentially drow. It's hard to tell with the bright light of the lantern. Um, kind of hooded and wrapped in these kind of cloth clothes. He is definitely blind. Um, his pupils are fully greyed out, milky. And though he seems to have a sharp mind and his senses about him, his wits certainly are not. Um, you've seen it maybe once or twice before, confidently, when people have left some berries a little bit too long and uh, they're slightly poisonous and they... Uh, kind of very much lose their marbles and uh th this is not a dissimilar situation but it would appear that this guy's been down here for a very long time and if so that's a natural consequence of that assuming again that this is indeed down okay DM, I'm going to cast light on my hat. Okay. And uh, see if this is Tarquin. Okay. You do hear from under your hat. <laughs> As friends kind of flaps out blinded. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I give him a, I pull him, I scoop him out and I give him a big hug. Oh, you're okay. Oh, you're okay. Daddy miss you. I sense there is a bird nearby. You said you were searching for one, yes? Pluto or Kinry Tarquin. Yes, I found the bird. It turns out it's me, the boy, and the bird. Ah, oh, congratulations. Name of my band. Incredible. A band? Ah. You play too. He, he just suddenly kind of comes to life a little more than he had before. Um, it is at this point that from the other side of the clearing of mist, Tarquin, you enter and approach the lantern and see in the center this mysterious crouching figure. Um... And opposite, just beyond him, is Ludo, Kinry, and friends. All seemingly alive and well. 
Oh, Luther. <sighs> oh, there you are. I found you. I thought this was you and you went crazy or something. Uh, no, I am going crazy, but not that crazy. <sighs> I thought it was alone here for a second or two. Uh, not alone. In... Uh, here is friends. That's uh, Kinry. Sorry about that. And uh, this is... Oh. Uh... You see the man stand up and kind of walk around Tarquin, almost looking at him, almost animalistically, uh, out of curiosity, just kind of searching around. Huh. Well, you're not the deer. Luto, can we Tarquin? Tarquin? Tarquin. Yes. Kind of points a finger at you like, ha, got it. <laughs> Solved the mystery. <laughs> you got it very well. And who are you? Who am I? I'm not Luto, Kenry, or Tarquin, that's for sure, no. Um, to be in a band? Could be in a band. Would be nice to be in a band. I... I'm very pleased to meet you reaches out a hand to shake. A uh, shaky hand? It's got a, a fairly lean hand, slightly bony, um, fairly strong grip to it. A pleasure. What brings you here? How did you get here? Was it a wagon? Or some kind of... Uh, Traveling creature? No, actually, it was uh, something strange. It, it's like uh, the ground disappeared and we fell and it was all dark. Like a trap? Uh, you could say so, yes, but not a regular trap. Not like a regular trap. Interesting. Interesting. So tell me more about this band that you're in, Luto Kinry. Luto. Luto. Uh, not in a band. Just a oh. phrase. <laughs> well, kind of. Uh. My girlfriend is a singer, and then also I'm a singer. Uh, friends plays you're the symbol. a singer? Yeah. I'm, I must hear, my dear sir, please. I, oh. Is your girlfriend here? I'd love to hear a duet. You see, I'm a musician myself. Where is here, sir? Oh, just in, just in front of me would be fine. No, I mean, where are we? Well, we're together by the lantern. You see. Come, let us hear your music. Uh, I'm gonna cook something. Uh, let me try something. Kinry, cover your ears. Uh, why? Okay, you don't want to cover your ears. You're gonna regret it. No, I'm a, I'll cover my ears. I'll go, I was just curious. Okay, <laughs> covers his ears. <laughs> Alright, do that thing where you do the two fingers in your mouth and do the big old dad whistle. I can't Ooh. do it. But like, I'll do a big one of those, and then I'll bet like loud. You mean the one whistles taught you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Fucking out. Too soon. Ooh. Too soon. I'm sorry. Ooh. I can't be mean, DM. I don't like it. <laughs> and then I'll do a big uh, bellow. Be fun. Amelia! Uh, Camille, you arrive just as, um, you see Ludo just screaming out for, uh, you and Bifon. I I'm oh. here. Oh, good. The man mm. wants you to sing. What? Is this oh. also Ludo? This is the deer. Are you Ludo's girlfriend? What? That would make sense. Maybe the deer was not actually animalian, but in fact, relationship, a pet name. 
Oh. A treasure. I don't know. It's the weird man by the lantern. Oh. A pleasure to meet you. Um. What is your name? Camellia. I'm. Holds out a hand to shake your hand. I shake it. Again, you feel slightly bony hand, lean, but quite a firm grip. Wonderful. Oh! You are... Wolf. Huh? Hooved. Oh. And hooves. Yes. Seder. Seder? So that means that Pluto has been to the Feywilds, or... In turn, his girlfriend has been to... I'm not his girlfriend. Regular... What? No, my girlfriend's no. blonde. Have you... have you told him yet? Oh. Um... My, apo my apologies for the c confusion. So you are literally a deer. And um, yeah. As he kind of squints at you, you too can see the kind of cataracts and milkiness in his eyes that would suggest that he is blind. I see. Well, arguable, but... And who is this Bifon? He called yet another name. Is that your son? Bifon, son of Luto. Kinroy Tarquin. Tarquin. Friends. Camellia. Bifon. I like this guy. Hmm. A veritable band. It is a shame that... Do none of you play instruments? I do, but we're not a band. We're a adventuring party. But what instrument do you play? Oh, the longhorn. Please, do give us an example. I'm sure Luto can sing along. Camille just eyes the other two like, uh... Oh. <laughs> Pluto has like started a little pot and he's like making like maybe frying up some cookies. <laughs> frying up some cookies. cookies. Have you ever tried Need that it? shirt? <laughs> you know, valid. Um, it is at this point, um, Bifon, you arrive at the beacon, having just very faintly heard your name being called out by Luto. Um, though you're alone, some part of you is not that surprised. <laughs> um, but you make it there safely, see, uh, I mean... Does he see Camellia getting her long horn out on Happy Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad one. Someone baking cookies? Yeah, making fried cookies. Hey, there you are. Sweet. This is a uh, guy by the lantern. Guy by the lantern, this is beef on. Beef on. But what is the beef on, I wonder? Good to meet you. And a hand is held out, kind of, yeah, you know, 15 feet away from you. <laughs> I'd give a little salute. He keeps holding his hand out. Not one for handshakes, I can respect that. Now, do you happen, Bivon, to play an instrument? No. A shame. Yes, where the hell are we? Oh 
come by the lantern. Why do you keep asking that? We are by the lantern. We are safe. Oh, so I'm told. <laughs> but yes, there are plenty of beds. Help yourselves. Um. Who told you that you were safe here? Who told me what? That you're safe here. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. I was worried about that for a second. I... <sighs> as, as conversation naturally goes on, you're all picking up that a couple of marbles are a bit loose. Um, seemingly means well and no ill intent. But... Mm. And no immediate but. <laughs> <laughs> immediate. No immediate one, okay. <laughs> Ludo is immersed heavily in frying his cookies. For a <laughs> short time. <laughs> and shall appear be. <laughs> so. Um, how did you all... So, one of you fell or something to get here did you, did you all fall or something to get here did any of you take a wagon or a, kind um, of ride in on a horse or other creature we all fell I, I think to get here interesting can you tell us where we are because we don't know about this place we are... Wow. <laughs> thought I was forgetful. We are by the lantern. We are safe. <laughs> Why? What is far... far away from here? Well, here is safe. And here has the lantern. That's... That's all one needs, is it not? Have you tried leaving from the lantern? Oh. You know what... <laughs> Oh, I shan't be doing that again. I hope. That was bad. Tried it once. Didn't fancy it. Turned around, came back. Been grand what? ever since. What happened when you left? Left what? The lantern? The place? Oh, I went right. Uh, <laughs> what happened when you went right? I don't know, it feels like things always go wrong. Okay. At this, <sighs> at this point... <laughs> <laughs> um, you hear a voice just beyond, behind you, kind of right in the... just right at the edge of the mist. Ah! I hear voices! Is everything okay? Uh, hello? And the, and the man just kind of looks to you and goes, well, That's me. Uh, hello? Do we recognize the voice? Bro? <laughs> Perception or history check for me, please. Yeah, Kenry's just covering his ears, watching the cookies fry. Like, how is this working? <laughs> There's no way this is working. Ooh. It's a 21. It is very similar, suspiciously similar, to a voice you've heard before, but something tells you it's not a person you've met before. Hmm. Uh, could I get a little hand? I'm kind of stuck right on the edge while the uh, visions are playing. 
I'm freaking out a little bit, and I'm hearing new voices out there, and I, I'd love a little hand uh, if, if anyone's out there. That, that would be super. <laughs> Anybody? Uh, we're... Hello, we're here by the lantern. Yeah, I can't get out the mist, though. Uh... I know that sounds incredibly suspicious, like a uh, like a monster, like oh, I'm stuck in the mist. Can you come and can you come and get me, please? And then I eat your hole and 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 what? C clean my teeth with your bones. But I pr I promise you, I'm not a threat. I am just threatened and afraid. <laughs> can you come and help me, please? That sounds like what a threat would say. Look, what, what would you what would you say in my position, man? I I don't know what to tell you. Okay, please come help me. Do either of you guys have rope? I do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, tie it to me. I'll go check it out. All right, but uh, if something goes wrong, you give it a pull, and we'll be right there. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I tied awkward. the rope. Yeah, yes. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay. Right. Amelia's all tied up and goes over. Go over to where the sound of the person came from. Mm-hmm. Is anybody coming or should I start praying to devils and stuff? I'm I'm coming. Uh I'm coming. Okay. I'm reaching out a hand. Uh, okay. Do you Camilla's reach also, out? Yep, oh. Camelia's also reaching out. Let's do a deck. Let's do athletics or acrobatics. Okay. Whichever floats you got more. Ooh. I got a good roll. So let's just hope it's friendly. I mean, mm. she's. Not twenty. Make sure you use the same hey. arm, <laughs> so that we can switch yours. <laughs> oh come on! Yes, incredible. Just Tarquin monk punching people with a hoof. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me ideas. <laughs> I have hands. With a natural twenty, not only do you. Um, kind of reach out and immediately feel a face, but yeah. as you head down and kind of look for arm, you feel it and you can tell that this person isn't lying. They are not a creature that's gonna rip you apart and pick their teeth with your bones. Um, and they manage to reach out to your arm, you manage to reach out to theirs. They definitely seem to be a halfling or a gnome, or a dwarf, or some st shorter stature creature um, in origin, as they are, well, as you reach out and kind of hit their, the top of their head. Um, and as you pull, it doesn't take much effort, but you feel their hand kind of quite cold, as if they've been in the mist a little too long, and they were starting to get a little bit freaked out, uh, which you heard as well. And uh, you pull them out, and everyone's fine. Nobody falls over. It's a surprisingly easy and su successful operation. <sighs> <sighs> and as they um, come out of the mist and recover, uh, you see a gnomish woman, uh, kind of three foot tall, uh, Kind of a bun on the top of their head and two um, slightly, slightly chaotic curtain bangs at this point. Um, this kind of uh, mossy green coloured hair. Uh, they've got a big scarf on, uh, a whole huge ass longbow on their back, and uh, some leather armors and garbs. Um, Y'all may roll a perception check or. Um, yeah, perception check or an investigation check for vibe or any other thing you would like to check. Should you so wish. Now is your time. Now is your chance. And uh, they look up at you 
with uh, big, big eyes. <laughs> Very big, uh, grateful eyes. Good <sighs> honey. Damn, we got some good rolls to say, you guys. God damn. Um, yeah. Uh, so what we got? We've got. I can see bifongs. I need to get you guys up. Hang on. Twenty-two. I'm technically not looking for lore. I'm looking for characters. So there you go. Uh. uh, uh, uh. Twenty-two. Uh, Twenty-two. Easily succeeds, as does another 22. Easily succeeds. What am I looking for? <laughs> I know I'm looking for a character, but I forgot what I'm looking for. Um, ah, yes. And, uh, did you say dirty 20 whoops? Mm hmm. And, uh, yeah. Again, Ludo fully absorbed frying cookies right now. He's also <laughs> confused of how he's doing it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you will be right back. <laughs> um, there we go. Uh, cool. You all see uh, that she um, is... Um, her hands seem slightly calloused. Um, and that is a pretty powerful, strong... Uh, longbow on the back of her back. On the back of her back. Yep. Um, on her back. Um, so you can all tell fairly easily that she is definitely a proficient archer. Some would say very proficient archer. A significantly proficient archer. Um, and she also strikes both vocally and physically, a resemblance to one Yenka Moss. And you also see at her hip a, uh, what seems to be, um, like a child made, um, owl bear paper mache mask. Ah, you guys uh, did me a solid there. Thanks for not uh, leaving me out there for for the uh, visions and the, and the haunting. Have you guys been out there? It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. It was weird. Yes. Well, I don't know what you guys saw. Oh, hi, Colm. How are you doing? Huh? Ah, oh, don't worry about him. He's uh, kind of lost his marbles a little bit again. Uh, and already noticed he's harmless though. And uh, oh. <laughs> Tarquin, are you st are you quest uh, very important question that I fully overlooked? Uh, have you just been holding your other arm the whole time? Oh no, it's in the fridge with the, the, <laughs> the list of things Ludo keeps there. Gotcha. <laughs> Um, okay, Kinry would uh, canonically have been screaming a little bit louder than um, when he came out. <laughs> 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 um, whose arm is... Oh. Um, <laughs> whose arm is there? Uh, 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 but, uh... Yeah. How, how are you guys, uh... Who are you guys? How did you... What a... I have a lot of questions. Um... But, uh, let's start with the basics. <laughs> uh, this is Colm. I don't know his surname. Kinda lost his marbles. Pretty blind. But, uh... Overall, nice guy. Claims to be a bard. Uh... The songs are... Interesting, though. And, uh, uh, my name is, uh, my name is Small. Small Moss. I mean, uh, uh she looks really concerned, um, instantaneously. All of you, please roll a history check for me. Ow, ow. 
gotta keep the arm fresh. The tarm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> 16. 16 succeeds. 16 and higher is all that is required. I get a 10. Oh, the irony that Tarquin does not know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> the irony. The shoe is on the other foot. The glove is on the other. No. Oh. I'm sorry. I need to stop. I don't like being mean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so is mine, Marco. So is mine. Um, it, Got a it, four. A four? Wonderful. Beef on the stairs. You know the name. Small boss, and you make the connection to one Yankamos. But Small Moss holds as much acclaim, it will slightly less, but a lot of acclaim, especially in uh, the region of Tauldron, as she is um, a folk hero for having single handedly. As but a teenager, or gnome equivalent in years, um, successfully killed a giant at her tender young teenage age and her three foot height of three foot. And practically, at that point, zero hunting experience. Um, people are very excited about her for that. It is quite an achievement. Uh, Camelia oh. and Tarquin, you're like, she's kind of like Yanka. Same surname. That's weird. But, yeah. I just see a familiar face. Uh, You're a giant killer, aren't you? What? <laughs> no. No, no, no. My name is... Uh, my, na my name is uh -uh. she's kind of looking around lamp lampisha it's fine it's fine it's, it's fine <sighs> it's good to see somebody familiar out here in the void i guess the void that why you think we are uh where don't are... know where we are other than by the lantern oh oh uh, well we are by the lantern. oh you've been talking to colm a lot huh <laughs> yeah sorry about that um no we we are uh, we we are in a particularly cursed corner of nil uh if if you've ever been to nil and if not uh welcome to nil i pr it's mostly better than this but, uh, th this part in particular is pretty, pretty suckish. Uh, but, 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 yeah, I, I guess I am small moss. No pictures, please, or autographs. Uh, you know, in all honesty, I came down here to escape the fame. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Well, then I apologize for asking, um, do you have any relation to Yanka? Well, yeah, she's my mom. Why? You seem nicer than her. Huh. All right, all right. I, I, I mean, she, you know, she... There was a lot of pressure on her being, you know, being a famous huntress, the, the, uh, arguably one of the, the most famous gnomes that, that ever lived, you know, uh, but, but, um, no, 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 she, 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 try, she tries her She's best. She's a bitch. Uh, well, uh, well, well I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it like that, not in front I of would. my face, at least. <laughs> So, you've met Mom? Uh, yeah, she shot at us. Oh. 
Yeesh. So I feel sorry, like in 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 jest, in competition, or don't apologize. Um, I think it was competition. Uh huh. I don't know what the hell she was doing. Ooh, that's uh. That's unfortunate. Mm. I'm, I'm is, sorry to hear that. Is this going to continue to be unfortunate, or do you uh, know the way out of here? Uh, we can... So what's he doing here? Uh, I don't know. He, 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 Cole was, was kind of here while, when I got here. And... I've, like, tried to get him to leave before. I don't know. I don't know how, though. You know, minus just picking him up and leaving with him. But through the mist, that seems like a really bad idea, you know? Ah, oh, he doesn't look that heavy. Yeah, but the visions, you know, if you let them get overwhelming, they kind of make you stuck, and if you get stuck, then you kind of... How did you get here? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you know, I, I was living up up top, uh, up, up in the homelands, and, uh... You know, the whole giant killing thing. <laughs> it was it was an accident. <laughs> it was a horrific accident. I love giants, okay? I didn't I didn't mean to kill him. I I felt so bad and then everyone was like, Oh my god Small, you've killed you've killed a giant, that's incredible. And I was like, no. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And everyone just wanted me to sign their... Their giant's toenails and their giant's heads and their giant's nutsacks and their giant's this and their giant's that and... Did you tell anybody? I tried! I mean, you spoke to my mother. You can picture how that went. Her only living legacy being a freaking accidental murderer of a favorite creature I was yeah, like mom yeah she seems to be more into intentional murder yeah I was like mom it was an accident I promise and she was like I'm so proud of you small I was like um, this is kind of the attention I've been craving for my entire life but it's kind of complicated and it's not what I want <sighs> So I went traveling to see if that would take my mind off of it, if I could enjoy the success, but... Ugh. No. No, I could not. It's, it's never terrible. as it seems. Yeah. So, uh, so I came down here, and, uh, even in some of the bigger towns, people were recognizing me. I, sh I suppose I should be grateful, but... It's a lot, you know. Even my owlbear mask couldn't work. And you see, you see, she puts on this paper mache owlbear mask, um, just very like, uh, tiny child project of like, mommy, I'm gonna make an owlbear mask. Um, and she puts it on, and you can absolutely still tell it's her underneath the mask. Could have fooled me. Uh, yeah. It's adorable. I mean, I was going for terrifying when I made it, but... It's terrifyingly adorable. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Uh, huh. Yeah, I'm not quite the uh, craftsman my dad is. And people... Somehow people were seeing it was me through this thing. Which is, like, crazy to me, so... I wrote a sleight of hand check, if you don't mind. What are you doing? Look, keep going. <laughs> okay, you can roll a slide of hand check. I'm just checking what you do. Um, but uh, yeah. So I kind of moved away. I hand from... her an owl bear mask. It looks almost exactly the same as hers. 
<laughs> you made you made her one that looks pretty much exactly the same. I only rolled a nine. <laughs> hey, you have wait. Slightly you have, improved. You have one. Oh, with a nine, vastly improved. <laughs> Still <laughs> terrible. I figure a child's mass is probably like about a five. <laughs> Still terrible. She made that at the age she currently is. She's just oh, really shit. bad at it. <laughs> She is just very bad at it. So yours is like really good. She's like, where did, you, where did you get this? This is incredible. This was the, did you make this? Photorealistic, isn't it? Holy smoke. This must have taken you weeks to make. Sorry, it's a metal etched. Um, realistic, isn't it? Whoa. That's, that's incredible. And she tries it on. Still looks like her. Doesn't hide the fact it's her whatsoever. Um, it's a little crooked. Put the yeah. string on wrong. <laughs> but, it, but it's a little bit more solid. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a new mask. It's a masterpiece. Um, And she'll hand it back. Well, thanks for letting me try it on. That was a... Uh... Uh, no, it's yours. It's yours. What? No. Come on. You're Maybe this one leg. will work. You're pulling my leg. Wait I would never. Me? Oh, I don't... So, I don't even know your name yet. And you're... Ah, shit, I didn't ask you goddamn names. I'm so bad at this. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Came to know people recognize me. I got stuck in this coastal area. I try and get out, but you know, it's not going so well. Um, I'm small. Uh, I guess. Uh, who are you guys? I'm so sorry. That's Ludo. That's Tarquin. Uh, this is Camellia. I am Bifon Kestas. And, uh, you were saying, how did you get here? Is he frying cookies? He's really he good cook. Mm -hmm. Huh. Um, I, yeah, how did I get here? Yeah. Oh, I just used one of the portals down. They're pretty common. So, so Nil is kind of like, uh, the Feylands, where it feels like, you know, they're not actually too far apart uh but nil is like if you just go deep enough into the earth into it's a fray then you'll bump into a nil portal before too long so it kind of feels like you're underground but you're not really but you kind of are depending on which bit you're in have you seen something it looks like a portal but uh much, much stronger with the magic. Almost looks like the world is falling apart. Also, have you uh, seen a grinning pink, pink tiefling by any chance? Either one of those things. They both sound like very specific. Like, it sounds like there's a, a larger thing going on. You'd, you'd know them if you saw them. Yeah. I don't think... I've seen the first one. I mean, there's a town not far from here that's got portals, but they don't look like things being ripped apart and falling apart and stuff. And the smiling pink. I mean, I've seen pink tieflings before, but you had this slightly haunted look on your face while you were describing her. So, I'll take it as a no! Can you get us out of here by any chance? <sighs> I I can try. The the thing will be is what we do about Colm. This guy here. Just leave him here. Seems I'm, to like it. I'm 
mean, he does, and he has everything he needs, but... I don't know. I feel kind of bad for the guy. Do you know if there's any place he can stay if we do get him out of here? Any family, anything? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. We probably had the same conversations over and over. Hmm. All right, we've anybody, got a rope. Yeah, anywhere is better than this place, so I think he should be better if we take him with us. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, I will help out how I can, but I'll, I'll have to leave it to you to try and persuade him. Because, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but there are quite a few beds here. And you see, like, in the area that you're standing in, there's been around kind of seven or eight different um, sleeping bags on the floor. And there's only, like, currently two of us that are staying here. So you, you've got, you know, you kind of got to wonder what happened to the other folk. And I don't know if, like, he knew them or something, but ooh, it's not. Maybe they tried to get him out, and he was the only one that survived. Like that thing where there's a, like there's battles at at sea, and they blow up loads of holes in the ships, and then they look at the ships that make it, and uh, and and. Your nope. friend's not a cannibal, is he? Well, I have a new thing to worry about. Huh. Well, I've, I've been here a while, and he's not eating me, but some people are weird about what they'll eat and not. So. <laughs> um. Ludo, meanwhile, has been mega hyper focusing. I mean, I've been getting, I've been getting Kinre to help me too. I've been like teaching him the ways. Been fully just completely zoning out of this other conversation and series of events that's been happening. As he fries the perfect cookies. Perfectly melted on the middle. And perfectly crispy on the outside. This... Us? Try it. Huh. <laughs> Crumped. Oh. oh, half a waffle. Of... These are really thank good. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Ludo, you see, you see this uh, figure you haven't noticed in like the last few minutes since you've been fried frying cookies um this kind of gnomish gal with a uh, mossy green hair and then oh i was i was uh mumbo. i was listening the whole time i just couldn't speak no that's that's fine you're just still hyper fixating on the cookies yeah you didn't look around to see her you're just <laughs> like oh that's what she looks like nice i want some i offer to everybody including uh colm is his name yes colm and having so uh Barely having listened into everything, as I hand, as I offer Colm some cookies, I say, "Hey, you want to get out of here?" Uh, I don't know. Did you fry those? Yeah, it's pretty good. I can make even better ones at home, where I got all my equipment. But uh, here, a little limited. Hmm. You should, uh, he come with us. In these. He tucks into one. What did you say before? Better than these. <laughs> <laughs> hard to beat. Very hard to beat. Uh, Small just kind of look very bemused. Um, and just very slowly bite into one. Um, yeah, I don't know how... Oh my god. She kind of very distractedly looks at the cookie. <laughs> right? 
normally you bake those, but I tried frying it because I don't got an oven here. Oh, that that's uh... oh, that's a game changer. <laughs> Holy moly! What are you pray to a cookie god or something? No, mm -hmm. SMA. So are we getting out of here or? History check for the DM. <laughs> oh fuck, that's a nineteen. <laughs> Small, Small's weird, cause she's she's characteristically been created to not be very good at things. But my God, do I roll good for her? <laughs> I, I gave her the um, secret esmic like handshake. <laughs> <laughs> what, like? A winged creature of a thousand eyes, Asimic? Yeah, he's my buddy. You you know Asimic? Yeah, you know, I've heard of him. Uh, pretty pretty crazy, pretty crazy stuff. Yeah. Pretty crazy world. So uh, you know, no reasonable reaction to a to a world this weird and <laughs> wild. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's Shows me things, gives me eternal life. Hey, these are. Uh, the life thing? The eternal? Maybe not eternal, but at least long enough to stay with my elf girlfriend. Look, I'll tell you guys about it. All, all, uh, all, all you want once we're out of here. This place is not very cool. Uh, okay. Uh, just need you guys to see if you can persuade Colm to come with us. Or if we leave him here. That's... That's on you, though. I, I I don't know what else to do. Come on, Colm. Uh, people, uh, fresh food, fresh ingredients. You know, you could go like maybe work like some kind of fruit cart, like a vegetable cart, or like a shoe repair, some kind of sell backpacks. General oh. store. <laughs> Listing all the jobs here. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check for me, please. All right. I would like to... I really want uh -huh. to succeed, so I'm going to give myself mm -hmm. guidance. Okay. Just a quick little estimate. I'm going to need your help on this one. Oh. Well, I ask again, have you faith? I had nothing but faith in you, buddy. Because you just made my 18 a dirty 20. Be so. The power of Esmic compels you. <laughs> dirty 20. Dirty <laughs> 20. <laughs> oh, thousand eyes are watching. Uh, pfft, I hate myself. Uh, <laughs> Ew. 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 Um, yeah, he's, he kind of looks at you and goes, tell me more about these, uh, selling things. That sounds rather... Yeah, it's like... You see, because uh... I'm, I'm a bard, so I, I, I feel like I have some gap to, to me, you know. All right, so look, this is, this is the future I see for you. You like the lantern because it's safe, right? So you find a cart and something to sell safe and then you stand there and you sing and you tell people to buy your stuff via song mm, i like it i like it yes it's good oh and uh you see that he um picks up the lantern and it kind of s smallifies and just kind of phew, and he oh that's his into... lantern he could have done that the whole time <laughs> And he tucks it into uh, one of the pockets on his kind of very old, tattered jacket. And is it now dark, except the for the light from my hat? Um, it's still emitting light. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ludo's not quite fucked. <laughs> no, you, yeah, you can, it's all, it's a bit harder for everyone to see, but with your light, Ludo, you've definitely leveled out the playing field, so it's not so bad for right. anyone. 
So. Oh, I have not leveled up to seven. I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, hurry, I better hurry up for no better reason. Um. So. I, if this is too dark, I can help. Ah, oh, I, I I don't I don't know if uh, cause I've tried lots of stuff. Like I've tried like magical light and and regular light and and like just weird light like I, I i don't know i just i set some bread on fire i thought that could help but uh n none of those really cleared the the weird misty stuff so i don't know i don't i don't know what to do about that <laughs> um so you will kind of get to the perimeter of the mist which is still there, despite the lantern having moved. Are we entering the mist? Uh, before we do, Camellia takes the rope and ties all of us together. Smart. Okay. Good job. That's a really good call. Um, what order is everyone going in? Assuming you're tying it in a big snake of people. This will be important. Mm. My survival is plus three, group. What's yours? Plus one. I got plus six. And oh. I have night vision, dark vision. I don't know. If oh, have. that's right. Mm -hmm. yes. I believe it's just Ludo that uh, gets fucked in dark spaces. And he's got light on his hat, so he's all right. To an extent. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, you take the front. I'll take the back, and I'm going to be uh, tied to comb. In case you need to hold them down, I don't know what's about to happen. Okay. Uh, are we also tying friends and Winnie? Of course. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So what is the order from front to back? You so... want to shrinkify that or oh, do yeah. we have a full size Winnie? Which one do you think we should do? I'll make her smaller. All right. <laughs> Okie dokie. Who's at the front? Fronty front. Who can Arky. overcome the dark? Dark we. Who is next? Probably me and then small behind. She is tiny. And I did have a lot of difficulty playing her in a cave at the back <laughs> of marching order because everyone was taller than her. <laughs> Who's next? Uh... Cannon. <laughs> I guess since don't got dark vision, I'll stay near the middle with uh, Winnie and friends. Mm hmm. Okay. Luto, Winnie, friends. And then we've got Colm and Bifong left. In that order? Perfect. Mm hmm. Lovely job, Lee. So. Are uh, we uh, ready to go in the darkness and face our deepest, darkest fears and uh, insecurities and all that good stuff? Yeah, all right. You mean every day? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Uh, oh, I can't go wrong. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, everybody just sighed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Back at it again. <laughs> A lot of trauma in this group. <laughs> I'll carry, I'll carry a lot with this. <sighs> yeah, some. Hi, my name's Small. This is my first time at Trauma Anonymous. Um, Hi, Small. Hi, Paul. My mom is Yanka Moss. Oh. And, and... Say no more. Yeah. Hey, uh, another okay. issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, 
you all re-enter the mist slightly more aware of the things you will face. I need everyone except Tarquin, Camellia, and Ethon to roll a Christmas saving throw for me, please. But then we'll do another roll after. That is a 16. 13 without the help of Papa SME. Oh, good old Papa. Papa is a meek. 30, 20. Oh, my God. You're all strong today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Love it. Good rolls, good rolls. But I will need a. How mean do I feel? What would it be? I guess it would be a wisdom saving throw to get through the darkness unaffected. Yes, a wisdom saving throw from everyone, please. Ooh. Ish. Nine. Nine. Six. Nice. And Five. Okay, so Ludo's okay. And Small's okay. And friends and Winnie are okay. Tarquin. The visions return. Camellia, the visions return. Bifon, the visions return. Luto, ahead of you and behind you, you hear your allies having conversations with nobody, with nothing but the mist and the darkness around you all. Do we see him? You don't see the visions, no. Well, we, well, we see them, though. Oh, you see them, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, they're gone! No, no I'm kidding. <laughs> gentle no. hand on their, you know, their back and kind of gently pushing them along so we keep moving. Okay. It's okay. We it's okay. have to engage them? No, but it does affect the speed of things. Okay. And the longer you're in there, the worse it could be. Maybe we just stay there. Make... I don't know. I miss missiles. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ludo's like, Guy Phelan, I want to see missiles again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, everyone except Ludo, please make another wisdom saving throw. We want a 13 or higher oh, no, to succeed, no. please. Hmm. Oh my god. Darkness. 22, hey, I bust. GG before. Nine. Oh, Camellia. The voice of your mother grows louder. You can't tell where from. She's angrier and angrier. She's fraught and distressed that now it's gone past the point of going to the Fragmentium and it is the present and she cannot find you and she is distraught and she is overcome. Tarquin, you see just out of reach, you see my and she's running further and further away. 
giggling and laughing and waving at you every now and then, but only getting further away as the leader of this train of rope. What do you do? Sorry, guys, but... I come here! I'm gonna follow her. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone, mate. A dexterity saving throw, except for Tarquin. Ooh. I mean, I, I gotta be realistic. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Mm -hmm. The absolutely. character is going after her. Oh. So. Absolutely, and again, that that kind of that kind of immersion in character will reap narrative reward, even if it feels like, well, guess this is it. <laughs> Bifon, you see Colm fall over in front of you. Uh, mm. Athletics to pick his ass up. May I? Yep. Yeah, you absolutely can. Uh, Camellia, you Ugh. are trying to run. Are you running away or towards your mother's boy? Away. Ooh. You trip over the last kind of bump of rug before your front door. And suddenly the presence feels a lot more formed. What was just a voice becomes the shadow of her against the wall. As she turns and notices where you are. Camellia! No! Where are you going? Oh. Uh, no, no! Ludo, you see a Camellia freaking out. Okay. Small and... falls, but seemingly is not having visions anymore. Hands to her sides. Pick her up. Over the shoulder. Pat, pat. He's okay. Come on. Okay. Tarquin, Camellia. Roll another wisdom save for me, please. I give her... When I do the pat, pat, I give her guidance. Yay! This is the one to succeed, you guys. Just okay, you oh. one. Yeah. <laughs> 17. Nice. You lucky bastards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, Colm. Nope. <laughs> Bless him. Bless him and his three. Um, Tarquin, as you feel the jolt of the rope pull against your ribs. You kind of see the vision dissipate into the mist just ahead. And sense the chaos behind you. And are able to find your feet, both physically and mentally, once again. It would appear... All but one in the group are back to their senses. What's everybody doing? There's a moment of pause after the jolt I'm of still Tarquin. Goofy. Hmm? We're still goofy. Is any is it all but one of us? On the f kind of after you've s scooped him up. He still just seems to be staring out, rather than ahead, where the group is facing. He's just kind of staring out. A small tear rolling down his right cheek. And he begins to take steps forwards, kind of out of line of the group. Pulling against the rope. Mm. 
beef on you immediately see this but if anyone else is checking the surroundings you would see this too may I persuade, persuade him to come back in you can certainly try I will try let's go what do you say then Failed me, level seven persuasion. Uh, <laughs> roll if what 13. you say is good, you might get an I, advantage. Uh... Mm. It's okay. Let's go. Let them go. But they're still out there. They need me. It will be fine. You'll see them soon. I'm worried I'll never see them again. And he looks to you. You see his pupils. Black as night. Functional. Distraught. I trust you will. It's only for a moment. Only for a moment. Only for a moment. Of course. Thank you. Kind of looks at you very hollowly, even though his vision is seemingly restored, even if just for the moment. And the group carries on forward, finally making their way out of the mist and into this strange turquoise hue and dark but illuminated darkness presumably of mill beyond this cursed area this cursed nook what's everybody's passive perception? 13 16 Fourteen. Okay. Thirteen. Bifon, as you round up the group, kind of last to emerge from the mist, you see a uh, You see Colm trying to get out of his rope. A section of rope. Kind of struggling with the knot. <sighs> A hand, G good fella. Anyone? Oh, we're not out yet. Just a few more steps. Oh, I, I, I would just rather be out of this now. <laughs> kind of feel this slight sense of desperation in his voice. You can all hear it at this point. You can all hear him speaking. Come on, calm. Just be, be calm. We'll be there in a, in a few short steps. Right? Almost yeah. there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just 
for a moment. Just for a moment. And before even the minute is up, you are all safely, securely out of the mist. Though it lingers still behind you. Oh, I am very glad that that is over with. I don't know about you guys, but oh boy. <laughs> Some of those visions were doozies. <laughs> oh. Is everybody okay? Yeah. And she starts to take the rope off. <laughs> shimmying out of it. I pulled Kenry back out of the fridge so he didn't have to experience any of that. <laughs> Fucking smarty. <laughs> He's playing rock, paper, scissors with the arm. There's the arm still in there! Can we take the arm out next time? You can, Please? You can play with it. It's not like you can't touch it. Don't eat it. That's why it says Tarquin on it. You think I'd eat it? Well, it's the fridge. I'd be confused. Okay. That's why I put Tarquin on it. Well, I guess if I went into the wolf form, I guess I... No, hey, no. I'm not going to, no, but if it not. happened accidentally... Well, it's not I going to happen accidentally. I might arm. Okay, well, don't. Zane. And don't. Why did you put me in the fridge in the first place? Because it's scary there, and I point to the mist. You put me in the fridge before then. I well, mean, yeah, like... because I thought there was an earthquake and I saw it in a movie once, Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I thought you would be safe in there. I don't know. It was an earthquake. I was so looking forward to you trying to make that a D&D &D thing. <laughs> that just straight up. <laughs> so looking forward to that just effort. Uh, <laughs> I heard it in a tale, the tale of... Uh, yeah. Indiana for Jones Deluxe. <laughs> it's you, you are safe, right? You're, you're you're fine. I mean, you're here, but you're with heroes, so not bad. Are we sure I'm not in the mist? Because I feel like I'm going pretty, pretty, pretty crazy right now. No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. You know, I, I almost think like somebody here didn't have delicious fried cookies, not even like five minutes ago. Didn't even say thank you. <sighs> thank you. All right, let's go. Um, While this whole thing is going on, uh, so what do I have to do to make an attempt to not call out? Home out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do I need to do a check, or can I just do it? Um... I, I would say... You can, you can just do it. It would have to be pretty sudden and sneaky. But if it hit hard enough, then it would work, so... Beef on oh. his comb with his canabo. <clears throat> and just flops over. <laughs> oh. Why? So I can get his rope off. Well, I, I think we could have done that while he was, you know, still standing. No, it's easier this way. He's fine. Okay. I, you know, I was contemplating leaving them behind, so I can't complain about what happens now, so. I only got myself to blame. Alright. So, uh. We did it. That was weirdly less painful than I thought it would be. To you. Well, I mean, I thought, you know, at least one of us was gonna die. So, I, I, I didn't, I didn't mean to undermine whatever experience you had in there, because, trust me, I know it's not good. Hmm. And, um, I'm not great at talking about that kind of thing, but, uh, 
No, that, that, that's it. I'm just not great about talking about that kind of thing. So where's the nearest town? This guy is surprisingly heavy. Um, so... There is a place not far from here. The Valengrau Falls. Uh... Problem is, we ideally need, like, an exploit to get us... ...there, alive. You know, nil, nil, if you haven't been before, it's kind of like a slightly constantly changing environment. Eh, uh, it's not, uh, it's not good. But... Mm. Well, you know, we'll figure, we can figure it out. I can, uh, call a friend real quick, see if we can, uh... ...get, get, get there. I got some business there to attend to now, uh... What, what, what is... Small. Uh, what is mm -hmm. Nil? Is Nil like a place on Earth, or is it like a different planet, like where the deer is from? A bit of both. Uh, so how People do we get back to Earth? Fully sure. Easy well, prey. there's ways. There's ways. We can we can get back and uh, back up up top uh, in town easily. So that's no problem. You okay. just need to get through the wilds of nil which is kind of that's where it gets a little bit rough i try not to do it too often last time i did it i got stuck in this weird circle of mist that makes you play out all your worst nightmares and realities and fears and uh, uh, flashbacks okay this time let's not do that yeah right like ideally um so i'm gonna go over here and talk in private to my 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 guy uh he he's very privacy oriented i promise it's nothing weird i ju i just am not skilled enough to get us to uh is it your boyfriend out. what no i don't i don't okay. have a Look, the the whole giant thing, yeah, it got me a few proposals, but I am not. I'm I'm still. I have a lot of life. I'm gonna go take this. I will be back. Don't All go right. too far, okay? I'm, don't take too long. Well, you can put him down for a bit, though. You don't need to. I yeah. hold on to him. Okay. And she heads off to a kind of strange little rocky area over to the side. Um, just out of view, but not too far. You want to put you him in the a... fridge? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Who had a passive perception over 16 again? Yvonne is just standing there, just stock still with this guy on his shoulder, but he is like almost about to fucking crack the biggest fucking smile. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying his best to hold it in so he doesn't drop this man. Uh, mine's only 13. Okay. I think somebody had 16, right? Yvonne? That's me, yeah. Yvonne. <laughs> As you're trying not to crack the biggest smile, as you're holding an unconscious comb, bonked over the edge comb, something in your head tells you to just, for a second, just look around, check your surroundings, you know. And as looking you around, yeah. Uh -huh. You see something strange as you look behind you in the mist. And the smile you were kind of thinking about that almost brimmed to the surface. You see a semi very dark reflection of yourself. With that smile that you were thinking about, that you were so close to cracking. Mm. 
as any good reflection does, it mirrors your every movement. But calm isn't there. So it just looks like I'm flexing my biceps? A little bit. With a massive wave. grin. It waves at the same time back at you. Sweet. Camellia. Mm -hmm. You see out the corner of your eye. <laughs> Beef on wave. At the mist. Do you look at the mist? Yeah. You see a dark reflection of yourself. As any good reflection does, it follows your every move. I tilt my head like a dog. Yeah. Huh? It tilts its head at the same time. Hmm. Tarquin. You see Bifon and Camellia looking into the mist. Acting not necessarily weirder than usual, but <laughs> a very specific kind of peculiar. Do you look into the mist? What are you guys looking at? You Be mean? What do you mean, me? In the mist. You in the mist. I see myself. It's like a weird mirror. She'll raise her hand and wave. Oh, really? It raises its hand and waves. Are you looking in the mist, Tarquin? Can I roll for perception? You certainly can. 16. <laughs> Where are you looking? What are you um, looking for? What are you buying? <laughs> what are you what are you buying? Thank you. Pretty much <laughs> I wanna see if I can see Bifan and Camellia on the other side. So not not straight ahead. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Mm. You can. Oh, there you are. So what, are we facing a giant mirror or something? With a 16, though? You can't see Luto. Oh. And you can't see Kenry. And you can't see Colm. Or friends, or Winnie. And it's only when B. Fon's reflection takes a step forward that you know something's wrong. Alright, But that's so... where we're gonna take a break, so... <laughs> We're gonna die, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something was wrong. It is so fine. This is, is fine. Suddenly, a disembodied so arm reaches out and grabs Bifon by the throat. <laughs> I was tempted to do Camellia does silly dance to see if it does it back. <laughs> <laughs> it would have. It, it, it would have. Reflection oh has hoof hands, but real feet. Feet. <laughs> oh god! Oh. <laughs> Everyone has feet, hands, and hand feet. Yucky! Yucky! Ew. No bueno! 
Okie dokie, um, we'll be back in like 15, 10, 15? Yeah, like that. 10, 15. Let us know if anyone's got any bingars. Any bingars or any full bingars. cards yet. Yeah, um, yeah. Send, send them to me, please. And we will be back to face our inner fears, our inner selves. No! Momentarily!
<laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no! Hello! Hi. You want the Hello. thing now? Now thing? Yes, please. Oh, okay. You see nothing. Uncharacteristic music. <laughs> Bless, you. Bless. And a sneeze. Oh, it's mirrored. Hi. You want it to much pepper? No, it doesn't matter. I never used it. Come on, mirror. Welcome back to cooking, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Even better than Mama. Oh, she's so fucking scary, though. Um. Yeah. We have a couple people getting some bingos up in here. That's very good. Uh, keep keep us updated. Keep us informed what you're getting. Um, at the end of the stream, if anyone is not in the Discord and you don't want to be valid, I'm in like 70... No, I'm not. I'm in 80 now. I can officially say I'm in 80 Discords. Um, then you can send us a picture. It's too many. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can send us a picture, and we will make sure you get your prize for the bingo. And uh, if not, you can let us know in Discord that you did the bingo or the like silver place bingo or the gold place bingo, and we get you the the reward for your bingo. I have crossed off one. Which was an accident, because I forgot that I had one open. So, I'm doing really good. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to fucking go. <laughs> I'm ready to win my own prizes. <laughs> but yes, welcome back to Uncharacteristic Music. With your boys. The Breakfast Club. And their spooky reflections. How's everyone feeling? Scared. How's everyone feeling? Enjoying the joy of LARPing. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Well, we better uh, squash that joy pretty quick and get everyone to roll for initiative then, I guess. Oh, no. Nah, keep this music going. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll put it on at the end if you're good. So as we all roll, can you summarize again what we all see? Like, what is happening? No. All right. <laughs> yeah, of course. So <laughs> I'm full full goblin right now, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so, as you all exit the mist. Hey. Oh, it's so exciting doing this now, hang on! As you all exit the mist, Bifon, Camellia, and Tarquin in turn all looked back to the mist themselves, seeing not only themselves, but each other reflected in dark shadow. However, on Tarquin's closer look, he noticed that any other than himself, Bifon and Camellia, were not reflected. And as this occurred... <coughs> Bless you. There's a cough, but thank you. <laughs> it sounded like it sneezed. <laughs> it happens, it's, a, it's the whole thing. <laughs> Bifon's reflection took a step from out of the mist followed closely by Camellia's followed then lastly by Tarquin's and then we all roll for initiative and fight motherfuckers Woo. oh Jesus you'll be glad to know I rolled ass <laughs> mm, so did we <laughs> so <laughs> Oh, this is going to be fun to try and figure out on my fucking initiative list. All right, so, uh, who got 20 to tw 25 to 20? Did we get anyone who got 25 to 20 for initiative? Not at Our highest is 13. Lovely! Anyone who got 10 to 15? <laughs> Me, 13. Camellia with 15! Ludo got uh, 10. Any we got 10. Uh, anyone who got uh, seven or higher? I get a seven. Perfect. What did you get, Beef? Beef. One. Beef. One. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> okay. And then we've got. So that's a five. <laughs> a five total? Sorry. Yeah, five total. 
That's okay! So, that makes it easier, actually, because that means the real gang are going first, and then it's the fake beans. Um, beans. Then we've got for beef. Then we've got for torque. <laughs> and then we've got fuck em. Fuck em. <laughs> fuck em. Fuck em. Um, fuck em. Right. Fuck em. Okay. So... Camellia, once again, in the heat of battle, you are first in initiative, followed by Luda, followed by Tarquin, followed by Beefon, followed by Fake Beefon, followed by Fake Tarquin, followed by Fake Camellia. What would you like to do, Camellia? What's everyone hit? What's everyone's hit points at right now? Forty-five. Because I'm kind of low. You You're would, low from what? You would um you would refill. We haven't had a rest. From... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, oh, re we did? refill. Mm -hmm. Sorry, do a long. My apologies. We did. Do a long rest, yeah. please. Okay. Um, because I'll leveling go. up is video game mode where okay. you get boost because. <laughs> okay. Because I don't know. It was it was like a nice darkness and then it was a mean darkness. <laughs> It went, it went from uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 and some being voiced by that one guy to not being voiced by that guy anymore. Even though the other guy who voiced him was good. I can't remember names, it's fine. Billy Zane? Billy yeah. Jean? Ah. Yeah. Ah. So currently Billy it's Zane. the whole party Zane. minus Zane. Ludo who have dark mode on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I would like to longbow my own dark mode version. Uh, your dark mode version is about. Do you have? Is longbow? Hang on. Let me. Let me. I can check because I've got your character sheet open. Um. Are you within like you are you would be within ten feet, so that would be at disadvantage unless you moved further away. But you can move further away and they wouldn't get opportunity attack. Okay. I'll move a bit farther away than longbow. Sweet. Okay, roll the hit. <laughs> now about twenty or so feet away. Just to make it worth ranged attacking. Mm. You got this! Or do you? Hit? Which you? Uh, does an 8 hit, Camellia? Oh, yeah, I had a feeling. Nope. <laughs> uh, it washes past you and into the, into the mist behind. It washes past her <laughs> and into the mist behind. Okay. It, is she moving at all? Not currently, no. Okay. That's my turn. Lovely! Luthor, it is your turn! Uh, okay. Uh, Ludo's gonna rush up to stand alongside his friends. And then looking them over. He's, is are any of them making any kind of, like, violent moves? Not currently. Okay, in that case... I guess just also Eldritch Blast, the one that, uh, Camellia shot at. Go for it. And please, let us know how your Eldritch Blast manifests. Has it changed since subscribing to SMIC Plus? Uh, yeah, you know, it used to be like kind of like a just like a general bolt of like spice and dust and air And now it's kind of got like this uh, Wispy gray kind of ghosty uh, Filter to it mm. Got some wispy gray almost angelic cloud like 
particle effects, but it's still peppered with literal pepper flakes and, Fuck you know, yes. paprika spots. Let's uh, go. That is a 25 to hit. Chameleon. Mm -hmm. Does 25 hit? Yep. Okay. Or five points oh, of damage. Five damage. Okay, fake Oh, chameleon. and the second one is a one. So it just disappears off into the shadows, I imagine. Boom. <laughs> just curves light through the mist and surprisingly quickly disappears into it. Okay. Neat. Okie dokie. Is that your turn? It is. <gasps> the queen! It is your turn. What are you doing? Being the Wait. intelligent strategist that I am, I'm going to go and attack Camellia's shadowy figure as well. So we take one out as soon as possible. Okay, you would be moving out of the attack range of fake Tarquin, who is within five feet of you. All right. You're okay with that? I want to punch fake Camellia. Okay. Fake. We're all just... We all just this take turns beating up Camellia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to read too, too far into this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fake Tarquin is going to make an attack of opportunity. All right. Don't worry. Uh, does a 24 hit? Yeah, it does. Okay. Ooh, I get to play with the monk. <laughs> Feels like playing with your older siblings' toys, and they're like, no, don't fuck them up! I like, no, keep, the, you can't take their <laughs> sleeves off. And it's like, I'm gonna take their <laughs> sleeves off! <laughs> Except I took the whole fucking arm! I even <laughs> just fuck that's so mean, I'm so sorry. Uh, 16 points of damage to you, Tarquin. Nice. Let me get 20. Okay, that's it. That is it. And you are free to mm. attack fake Camellia. Or, indeed, off. technically real Camellia, as you see fit. No, I like real Camellia. I'm gonna punch <laughs> the other one. <laughs> Fair enough. There's always time. <laughs> we joke about okay. this now, but one day... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, that, that dice doesn't count. I, I made a mistake. Um, <laughs> now this one counts. 17 and 22. Do they hit? I believe they both hit. All right, then I'm going to use key points and I'm going to add wait, two wait. unarmed strikes, which Let's are go. going to be 23 to hit. Oh, and that one doesn't hit. That hits. If anybody has Tarquin deals three plus attacks in one round of combat. <laughs> you may cross that off your bingo card. You're welcome, <laughs> my dears. <laughs> na, na, na. 20 points of damage. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not happy. Is that the end of your turn, my friend? I'm gonna use. Uh, how, what was the name of this thing? Uh, sorry, I have to check. Uh, basically, the dodge action. Patient yes. defense. That one. Alright. Nice, nice. That's all. Okay. <gasps> Be found! Yes. Your shadow is before you. You are indeed also holding an unconscious man. <laughs> what would you like to do? Amelia dead? Not yet. Mm. Neither one. <laughs> does um <laughs> does does Darkwin have one arm? Darkwin does have one arm. Uh. Uh. And I'm and I'm still holding this man. <laughs> you are still holding the man. Oh, imagine if I can steal Jeez. that arm and I have a dark. Arm. <laughs> 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 Ooh, <laughs> <be> awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll right, and it's it would 
It would be the right arm. Oh. And, uh, oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good point. And um, I'm before myself. How close am I to the other two? Uh, so you're within striking, attacking five, di five feet distance from yourself. You're about uh, 10, 15 feet away from Darkwin and uh, 20, 25 feet or so away from fake Camellia. Okay, can the cool. Fake, can the fake beef on be called beef off? Yes. <laughs> beef off. <laughs> beef <laughs> Beef off the cellar. <laughs> All right, so I am going to longbow camellia. Yes. Which one? Let's destroy the bitch. <laughs> Darmelia. Okay. <laughs> Dark camellia. Let's go. Oral to hit. It feels it, like it's, that. It's nothing um... personal, Camila. You understand. I know. Roll a big fat one. <laughs> we're just we're just focusing no! fire. Uh, so, so I'll have to use my second action, unfortunately, which is a fucking three, which is ten. Does ten hit? It does not, unfortunately. Okay, so I did nothing. Uh, I am going to use Grim Bane Link to cast Bane on all three of these assholes. If any of you have DM forgets about an item on your on, bingo seriously? card, <laughs> forgot all that shit. <laughs> Look, I'm not. I'm not with it today. I've had too many nosebleeds. <laughs> <laughs> um, gee, fucking gee. All right. So, please explain what that does. Oh, you gonna make me do that as soon as I close that. Um, Sorry. Yeah, the Grim Bane Link basically just allows me to cast uh, one dose of Bane per charge. Uh, up to three creatures of your choice that can see within range that you can see within range must make charisma saving throws. Whenever a target that fails this saving throw makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a D4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or saving throw. Ooh, and what is the DC they must pass to succeed? Uh, charisma three. I mean, charisma 11, what am I doing? Where did three come from? Everybody's <laughs> brain is fucked today. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> charisma of 11. Okay. Fake be fawn. Fails. Fake Camellia just passes, and Fake Tarquin <laughs> fails. So y'all bullying Camellia, Fake Camellia, but actually she's the, um... <laughs> 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 she's actually doing a little bit better. Uh, okay, sweet. So, uh, for Tark... And the beef are for Bane. Okay, so now I've got BF beef and BF Tark. Make that of that what you will. Um, okay, is that your turn, Beef on? Mm -hmm. I will also say you can use half your movement to uh, put down <laughs> Calm, should you so wish. Wait, hold on a second. Um, it affects all of them. Up to three people. So it's yeah, you'll three have people. to roll on each turn, right? Or did Camellia prevent even getting banged? I'm not clear on what you just did. Um, so, hang on, let me double check. Queen Bane Link! Uh, Bane! Whenever a target that fills a saving throw makes an attack for a saving throw before the spell ends. Yeah, up to three and... creatures make the Christmas saving throw. Yeah, so Camellia was the only one who succeeded the Christmas saving throw. But on their next turn, will they have to make that roll again? Uh, That's where I'm kind of confused. I, yeah, I thought it was. I, I wasn't sure if it was every turn, down. or if I cast it and two are affected no. and one isn't. I would say whenever a target that fails the saving throw makes an attack or saving throw before the spell ends, that they must roll a d4. So for the next okay. minute, which is up to ten turns. Um, yeah, that actually makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. They have to keep rolling. Yeah. 
So they can't now, po posthumously, so to speak, uh, succeed the charisma save. They are. Bane is one of those things I know Bane. never used it. So I'm just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. You're all good. Okay. Is that your turn, my friend? I'm going to put this guy down. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> it is Fake Bifon's turn. He also is going to longbow Fake Chameleon. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how much of a dick am I going to be? Well, they nah, are our mirror images, right? Hmm. They are, yeah. I'm not going to mirror so the So he's going to miss real, cham uh, real Camellia twice. Aww. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I'm joking. Um, Go no, ahead, he's, he's just going to war... He's just going to warhammer your ass a couple times. My, my ass? Oh. Oh. My buttocks. <laughs> Look pretty good from this angle. Seen the marker Hello, art. Hello, Oh no! Mirror Beefon is also not rolling great. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, Mirror Beefon misses twice. Uh, <laughs> fuck! You see, you you Welcome know these moves. World. You know these moves. You've seen <laughs> these I'll moves. I studied all your moves. <laughs> Oh my god! Um, and that was without Bane, so. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, god, that knock that, is though, on point, ain't it? Uh, he turns invisible. Sweet. And it is now. Fake Tarquin's turn? Oh, boy, howdy. Oh, boy, howdy. Oh, shit. No, everyone keeps attacking Mirror Camellia. Maybe there's a reason for that. Mirror Tarquin is gonna come after real Camellia. Camellia. Corelia. Ferelia. Um. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> uh, right. Let's go. Wee! Oh! Just a 22 hit, Camellia. Jesus. Yeah. Lovely. Does a 22 hit Camellia? <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. Sure. We'll flurry of blows. Does a. Ah. Uh, does a nine hit? Nope. Tarquin is beating Wait. up actual Camellia? 14, yeah, 14, 22 minus 4 is oh, 18, nice. which still beats your AC. So, my, my apologies, I forgot Bane, but doesn't make much of a difference, monks! We. Okay, okay, let's not accidentally kill Camellia. Hi, hi, hi. I'm surprised Barbanus Ooh. hasn't appeared earlier. It'd be right. kind of funny. Oh! Uh, that is... 21 points of damage. Hey, That's fine. And he is gonna run past Camellia. And back into the mist. Oh. With his movement. Does that mean we can't see him anymore? You can see him. Okay. But he is technically partially covered. So any attacks would be disadvantage. Uh, fake Camellia's turn. She's like fucking ow. Um. <laughs> oh. Oh. Camellia. Ooh. 
we have got that, haven't we? Mm. Oh, the temptation to entangle! Ugh. Okay. She is going to uh, cast Phase Savagery on herself. No. And you see... Yeah, bitch. You see... <laughs> you see her antlers grow. What? Um, and... Ganolis. She is... <laughs> <laughs> no, hang on. That got me. That got me. Uh, <laughs> Canales, you <laughs> you see Camellia's antlers grow and her face grow more like a almost like a real deer, just full kind of stern, this animalistic numbness, um, this glaze of pure savage nature take over. Shadow plants wrapping around her hooves and trailing behind wherever she moves to. And she's gonna giddy up towards real Camellia. Mm, no, she's not. Uh, she's gonna attack uh, real Tarquin. And that will be we're doing it above fifth level, so that's gonna be two. What the fuck is a D12? One of those. Oh, I have those. That's easy. First time I think I've used D12s. Ooh. Uh, that will be. Math. 15 points of radiant damage to you, Tarquin. Oh, it's just on. direct I'm a... damage? No, I'm, I'm a dummy. That's my bad. I realized after the fact. But it might be! It might be that much damage. I've already forgotten how much. Alright, let's try again. Uh... <laughs> Does a 14 hit? No. Okay. Nope. Why do we bother? Alright. Um, she may be beastie, but she dumb. Um, okay. Each turn, your score goes up, starting at one. If you roll a number included in your score, you go berserk. Okay, I guess, uh, Mira Camellia has gone berserk? Oh, dang. And, um... Oh... And she has to see whether she hits a friend or foe, but she does get advantage on it. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. Okay. So I can just make regular attacks now, I think. Wee. Okay. Does a seventeen hit Tarquin? No. Nope. Wait. Advantage. Does a 17 hit Tarquin? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm trying really hard! Okay, that's fine. She gets two attacks per action. Uh, eh. Oh! Come on, that 20. Fuck! Uh, does a... 20? Dirty 20. Does a dirty 20 hit? I have dodged, so you have to roll again. God damn it. You son of a <laughs> bitch. You're right. <gasps> That's a natural 20. Would you like the natural 20 or the dirty 20? Mm. I like things dirty. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, the dirtier option would be the natural 20 in this case, oh but we'll God, go no, with... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. So, one, one hit. How much? Five damage with giant camellia horns. It's very badass. Or if not slightly underwhelming. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool beans. And we are returning back to real Camellia. 
with real Ludo on deck. Okay. Lord. Uh, cure. I will use cure wounds on myself. Okay. <laughs> That's rude. I got hurt a little bit. Just a little bit. Sounds like a scaly shit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I heal for seven. Well done. And is I am eight. healed. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> is fake beef on still invisible? Take beef on. You don't know. You can't see him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know if he's invisible. You can't see him. Gas <laughs> lighting isn't real. <laughs> mm -hmm. Correct. I will. Beef on not here. Beef on Beef off the stairs. He is not here. He is beefed off somewhere. I will. See fake Camellia being angry and go, Oh, that's what I look like. Ready? And long go her. <laughs> oh, oh, I was so ready for you to do it too. I uh, roll mm -hmm. to attack. It's a nine. I, that may seal into another one for the mist. Hom nom nom. <laughs> Beefed off somewhere. <laughs> it reminds me of the I, I I'd love a beef on version of uh, the Daniel Radcliffe meme, which is Daniel Radcliffe and then Daniel like Lamecliffe, <laughs> 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 or Daniel Radcliffe and Daniel Sadcliffe. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Anything else you can do, Camelia? Uh, you can do another longbow. Don't miss this time, yeah? I'll try. Why am I so mean? I'm so sorry. It's I need funny. To, I need to stop. It just comes out of me. I can't help it. There you go. Dirty 20. Eee, dirty 20 hearts. Let's go. Roll for damage. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, six damage. And as the <laughs> hits and makes an impact into f fake dear Camellia, uh, you see that her concentration on face savagery is broken and she reverts back to regular Camellia. Regular evil Camellia. <laughs> Mm. Regular, very regular, evil camellia. She came and went. She beefed on and off. Alright, <laughs> anything else? <laughs> the filter is gone. Uh, Alright, now it's a little is your turn. Tarquin, it is your turn after you're on deck. Okay, uh. What are we doing? Who is still messing up who right now? Uh, Mirror Bifon is invisible, question mark. Uh, Mirror Tarquin is visible, but in the mist. And, uh, Fake Camellia has just been pierced and re resumed normal sizings, uh, after being hit by her not evil self. Okay, she's still around, though? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna uh, hit him with one of them classic Ludo combos. Uh, bonus action, summon the spiritual weapon, spiritual Ooh. meat tenderizer. Yeah! And then at the same time, charge in with the actual meat tenderizer. So we do the double double. Double double. Acting like ice climbers rushing at him. <laughs> <laughs> Smash patties, let's go! Here comes the spiritual weapon, trying to bonk. <laughs> Trying to bonk with the spiritual meat tenderizer. Happy 22. Valentine's Day. <laughs> 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 
22 hits! Or... <laughs> so stupid. 15 damage. Nice! You see... Fake Melia... Struggling. Okay, and then the actual meat tenderizer... Oh, that is a natural one again. All right. Uh-oh. It, ju it just kind of... You're like, ha! Huh! And it just kind of hovers. Where it was, just like... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. Anything else? Uh, that is it for Ludo. Okie dokie, Tarquin, it's your turn before you are on deck. You're beefed on deck. On stairs. You get me. <laughs> Alright, let's finish her. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> I need to know what y'all's oh fatalities would be. Holy shit. No, no, I, I, I can't. I can't do it. I got double ones, so I can't do nothing. Oh. I just... Just in the mist. Behind fake camellia. You see my just for a second. Just dark again. She's gone again. Anything else you'd like to do this turn? Nope, I can't. Eh, that's a shame. Good effort, good effort. It is your turn. Followed by thank you. What would you like to do? Is this, is this deer still not dead? Not quite. Oh god. Okay. Very close. Um, Very close. They're still not close to me, right? No. Okay. Longbow it is. Oh, hey, 25. Sweet. Let's go. Uh, damage is 11. Uh, how do you want to do this? Shoot him in the temple. Uh, Lights out. I don't, I don't want, yeah, I don't even want the mirror versions. I don't want to see them like. Yeah. Flopping on the floor, suffering. Just, just, <laughs> just turn uh, him off. <laughs> honor, honorable, noble, fast kill. <laughs> didn't didn't know what hit her. <laughs> and as as the arrow goes into her temple, just she just fades back into mist, which goes into the circle behind you. Okay. One down! Mm. So we have fake Tarquin partly covered by the mist in the circle. And we have <gasps> part of me invis invisibeef somewhere. Going to. Um... Hmm. Oh, probably should. Probably should. Do it! I'm gonna set a dodge. Ooh! Alright. Yeah, that's my. That is my turn. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Seeing as it's you, Bifon, high or low? Excuse me? me? High or low? Yeah. Hi. Hi! Bingo, Check please! Off. Check out off your bingo. Okay. Camellia, high or low? Low. Ludo, high or low? Hmm. 
Ludo is like, not me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Ludo, what are you doing? Oh, no. Ludo, we lost Ludo. Have we lost Ludo? Oh my bad, I've been muted this whole time. God dang. Uh, I said hit me a lot. My HP is high, my AC is high. I'm all for getting hit. Uh, I also said low. Please. High or low? Low for Luto. And Torquin, high or low? Hi. Hi! Okay. That's unfortunate. Uh oh, how unfortunate. Uh oh, how unfortunate. What a shame. So, a sneak attack is. What is a sneak attack? Okay, it's not... Okay, gotcha. This is just with advantage. Oh, yeah! Jesus. Uh, Camellia, darling. Mm -hmm. You suddenly feel a... behind you. Ooh. As you take 10 points of wallop damage as a suddenly be fun, he Wait hits from behind you. I have so. sneak attack? No, but you went invisible. So you attacked. Yeah, I've been invisible advantage. a couple of times. I had no idea. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you attack, uh, you would also attack at the advantage. Episode 23, Beefon learns he has sneak attack. No! <laughs> it's not like rogue sneak attack, because that does. That's extra... what I was wondering. Yeah, that's what I was also wondering, and I just checked. <laughs> I've never. I've never. Ro so, what did you roll? You uh, just, so, I just you rolled just an roll advantage. Hit, just... Oh, it's yeah. just advantage. Okay, good. Now yeah. I know. Cool. Yeah, yeah. We can figure out things in more detail if needs be, but for right now. That is, that uh, everything we killed is already is still dead. This is fine. <laughs> I always thought My it was a completely apologies. separate thing. Yeah, I. Advantage that's makes why sense. I checked. Yeah, so I was like, for yeah. for now at least for Emini, we do we do advantage. But Sorry, that's... Camelia. Yeah, we had to find it out this way. <laughs> well, it could have been worse because it could have been rogue, and then there would have been extra dice involved for the best. Um, so that is a D, that, yes, that is 10 points of damage, and then he's going to attack again, but not at advantage. In fact, it would be minus the D4 from before. 16 minus 4 is 12, plus 5 is 17. Does a 17 hit? Yeah. Oh, it's only two. Uh, two plus two, four. Quick maths. Uh, four <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like the first bonk really kind of wah, and then the second one's just like, ah, fucking still doing that shit. Um, I keep meaning to do that. Um, oh fuck. Uh, yeah, no, nah, that's it. Okay, and then we're gonna go fake Tarquin. Ooh, he is going to. <sighs> He's gonna try and attack himself, I guess. If anyone can hit Tarquin, it's gotta be Tarquin, right? Or everyone else, because I. Constantly get whooped. <laughs> I mean, you rolled a negative two plus eight for the first attack, so I think you'll be all right. <laughs> negative two. Lord, well, I rolled a two minus four for 
For Bane? Oh, for the Bane, right, right. Yeesh. There we go. Minus four. I think it's minus a d4, but I've just been going with four, so it's fine. Uh, 16, 12, 18, dirty 20! Does a dirty 20, dirty 20 does hit. Uh-uh. And then... Uh... Yeah, we're also absolutely gonna do... Flurry of Blows. And we're gonna cast... Uh... Oh yeah, we're gonna do Open Hand Technique! If we hit, that is. Hiya! <gasps> That is another dirty sermon 20 to hit, and I need you to do a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Right. 14 to beat, or you're falling prone. 24. Uh -oh. Oh, okay, fucking, you're fine. This <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> fine. All right, so let's do damig, which is 1d6 plus five. And one d6 plus five. Wah! Ooh. Uh, ten, sixteen, eighteen points of Tarquin damage to Tarquin by Tarquin Ouch. for Tarquin. And. Yep! As and Tarquin gonna... falls to the ground, he puts out his one remaining hand, does a one-handed push-up, and pushes himself back up to a standing <laughs> position. Hell yeah. <laughs> and he is going to run back towards the mist, so Tarquin, you do get a attack of opportunity on Tarquin. Nice. Oh, thank Seeing how many times That's I can say Tarquin in a sentence. 17. 17 doesn't hit. Nope. Unfortunately. But good try, good try. And he vanishes into the mist once again. And fake Camellia could be a dick right now and heal herself, but... Nah. The fake Camellia's not dead? She still has very few hit points, but she has no... Oh no, I she I thought is... she was dead you on her shark her. Sorry, again. <laughs> sorry, I, got... I still have her on my list, I'm sorry. Dead Camellia does nothing because she is missed and fart dust. Oh, in shit. The wind. And real Camellia... Art <laughs> real Camellia gets to go, because it's real Camellia's turn, is what I meant to say. And real Camellia isn't fart dust. <laughs> real Camellia's a real girl. So, fake Bifon is right on me, right? Yes. Cool. I would like to... Uh, bonus action Searing Smite Ooh. on my hand axe and try to get Shit. it at him. Get at him! Go! Get him! Get him! Go! Get him! So furry. <laughs> Susceptible to fire. Oh, hell yeah. Nat fuck? 20. Nat 20! Nah. Ow! <laughs> roll all that damage. Mm -hmm. So roll once for damage and then add all of the maximum damage of Searing Smite on top. Also, yes. Yeah. But for oh. those who don't know what Searing Smite is, uh, my hand axe on fire. Oh, shit. Describe it. Mm -hmm. Describe the detail of it. What does Camellia do? Said that shit on fire. He grabs some of her leaves, kind of swipes them against the handle of the of the hand axe, and it catches on fire, and she kind of smashes it on it. Nice. Good shit. So six plus Such good shit. four. For a total of ten. And I think it's a little bit more because uh, it's, be... it's the, the the maximum damage plus your damage roll, so it should be seven plus the first roll you did. There you go, oh. twenty, right? That was no, that was just a hit. No, no, no. I, I mean the damage oh, yeah, because no. you rolled twice yeah. for damage, right? 
or uh, crit. I... Right. Oh, yes. Right. So okay. it's so seven you roll plus once the first. And then the full damage, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's a little bit more than 10. I think it's uh, 13. Uh, maths. It's your maximum possible damage, and then whatever you rolled, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. max possible would be seven, and then plus the last two rolls I did, which was. And then it would be Searing Smite as well, which mm-hmm. I need to roll a com save for at minus four because uh, Bane I got a fucking three so I'm going to say you also roll that at max damage yeah Ooh. okay nice were you were you doing that at second or first level it's only first okay so that's one d6 Add six, and then add it to what you got before. Maths. Thank you for confirming crit is physical. <laughs> mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay. Womp. <laughs> okay. Anything else? That's it. I will ch- change the music. Melia cracks beef on across his face, singeing his sideburns. <laughs> he is damaged and very upset. His his misty sideburns. Oh, this is not the one I wanted. This one. It's just like beard on one side, no beard on the other. It's horrible. <laughs> oh no. It's sad as well. Come on, music. What are you doing? There we go. Spooky music! Okay, anything else on your turn, Camellia? That's it for me. So how much damage was that total, do we remember? 17. (laughs) 17, Mm. but thank you! Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Lotto, it is your turn, Tarquin on deck, Bifon on deck deck. (laughs) Okay, who's currently visible? Who's currently around? Uh, Fake Bifon. And barely fake Tarquin. Okay. Uh, I will charge at barely fake Tarquin. Okay. Uh, me and Get the spiritual him. weapon will try and give him the old ice climbers wombo combo. <laughs> Here comes the ice climbers. It's 18 to hit. That hits, I believe. Yes. All right, that's for 12 damage. Nice, nice. And then Ludo comes in on the other side, trying to hit for... Does a 23 hit? 23 does hit you, cheeky bastard. All right, if 18, yeah, what am I talking about? <laughs> so that is uh, nine. So a total of 21 damage across the both of us. Thank you. I was, I'm struggling with quick maths. I got there. Okay, GG's. Woo! Big womps. I'm bopping to this. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> it's less fun when you're playing the game, but this is great. Um, okay. Anything else? That's it. Simple to the point. Bonk, bonk. Tark, when it is your turn, what would you like to do? Okay, so I'm about to die, but... My mama raised no coward, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna joke. go I'm and attack again. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 finish these guys. Ooh. I'm going after a fake beef on. Beefy beef. Yep. Let's see if I can hit this guy. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. That's a seventeen. 17 hits. Nice. And that is a 30 20. 30 20! That's a lot of dirty turns today. <laughs> there is a lot of dirt. Well, it's and only... of course, we're gonna have <laughs> Flurry of Blows. <laughs> Flurry of Blows. Add, if you've got chat districts, players in full immersion. 
<laughs> I mean, technically it is one of the players, but that's a phenomenal fucking comment from Dime there. You can cross that off your bingo cards. Fucking shit. Does 14 hit? 14 does not hit, unfortunately. Alright, so three, three attacks then. Okay. Not breaking that three yet. <laughs> not yet. And... It's time. So bad it's great, because in the game you always 25. fight enemies that have like four health when this music comes on. So it's really underwhelming and annoying because you're just trying to drive and then it's just like... It's like, no, <laughs> stop, I'm just trying to go fishing! Um, That's but when 25 it, it's, of damage. It's great. Woo! Let's go! Kablam! Punch, punch, punch! All right, is that your turn? I will add uh, another uh, dodge with patient Okey defense. Dokey. And that's it. A beef on, the real beef on. Please stand up. And what would you like to do with your turn? Um... Am I still alive? All right, let's remedy that. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Context is important. 17. Right. 17. Also hits. Stop Seven. hitting yourself. Stop <laughs> hitting yourself. Three. Two hits for 10. 10! Can, that can do that much. All right, starting to flag Mirror Bifon. Bifon. I don't know. It went very French. Mirror Bifon. He's starting to flag. Anything else you would and like to do? And then I'm on a... <gasps> step out. Oh. Invisible. Yes. Ah. Off he goes. Beef. Beef out. Uh, <laughs> that's the one. All right, fake beef on is like, what the fuck? Where is real beef on? Father. Um, no, he doesn't. He's gonna fucking attack Amelia. Whee! Oof. Uh, maths, maths, maths. This is what plays in my head when I'm trying to do mental maths. <laughs> maths, maths, maths. Nine, eight. Eight and nine. Eight, eight and nine add five. Eight Twenty-two. Eight and nine add five. No. Eight, 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 eight,
Uh, I was gonna say something, but I. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> that one I didn't see coming. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, right. Um, everyone, everybody. Yeah. Roll dexterity. Save and throw for me, please. Yeah. Even the invisible oh, yeah. guy? Gonna go. Oh my god, yeah, oops. Shit, sorry. Fuck, I didn't. Yes, yeah. no. No, yeah, you, no, you do, sorry. I um, do have to roll it. Yeah. Each object in a 20 foot cube within range is outlined. <laughs> Any creature in the area is also outlined if it fails the deck save. If you succeed the deck save, you'll be fine. Oh, you're using Swing fairy fire. I am, yeah. I was I keeping it a secret. I <laughs> was well, not a secret anymore. <laughs> Look, the uh, fake Tarkin's getting desperate. Needs the attack, the attack advantages. Okay, B4 and just, oh, uh, just fails. Tarquin mm -hmm. just save, save, save. Oh, that's fucking typical. <laughs> So Bifon just becomes like one of those uh, like 2014 music videos, just outline of Bifon, just in neon. What what color would you like, Bifon? I'll let you choose what color outline you have. I don't even I don't know what's happening anymore. So <laughs> mirror mirror Tarquin is casting a spell. No, just do what you're gonna do. I mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I no. don't know what's happening. <laughs> Mirror Tarquin casts Fairy Fire, which illuminates anything that fails a dexterity saving throw in magical, magical fey light, which makes them slightly easier to attack. So he does see this mysterious outline. Whether he's a, he'd attack it or not, I don't know. Let me roll some. Ah, it'd be purple. It'd be purple, yay! Yeah. Heads or tails? It's... Good choice. He's just like that's just... weird. I don't like that. <laughs> he's gonna I don't attack... like no head. No, oh, he's gonna attack Camellia instead. No, he's not. He's gonna attack Luto. Bye, bye. Sorry. Hiya. Oh my God. Does a minus? What's minus one add? <laughs> <laughs> minus one add eight. Does does a seven hit? This is like Gandhi's stats in Civ. <laughs> it's so negative that it crosses back over to Damn super it. positive. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they are shadows, so I guess technically it would be radiant damage instead. That would be cool, actually. Okay. Um. Oh, for fuck's sake! Does a does a does a nine hit? It does not. Believe it or not. What? The, what the fuck do you mean it doesn't hit? <laughs> okay, well, fake Tarquin's just like fuck this shit. <laughs> um, and uh, with that, they shall both, um, or oh, fake Tarquin shall retreat into the, into the mist, almost insultingly insinuating that real Tarquin would retreat, would retweet, would retweet, <laughs> retweet. Damn it! No, <laughs> Would insinuate that Tarquin would retreat a eh? <laughs> if in a desperate enough situation, fuck my life. Hey! <laughs> Camellia! Ludo Tarquin be fun in that order, you've got fake be fun left. Fake Tarquin is in the mist somewhere. You can go looking for him, but it's probably not advised. What would you like to do, Camellia? Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. I'll hit him. With, I'll hit uh, Fake Bifon with my hand axe again. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus again? 
Nice. Another hey, nat 20. Ooh. Well, you know how to do the maths this time. <laughs> These guys do. Let's go. Hit. <laughs> Mimi is just like, yay. Hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would be slightly different if it was flesh and blood, but still cool. Uh, Camellia, I don't know if we've had one of these before. How would you like to do this? Wow! Ooh, just overhand over her head, right in between uh, his eyes. Oof. That felt what the you do? <laughs> Missed beef on just... Nothing personal. Dissipates <laughs> <Sure>. sides. <laughs> and... Seemingly, all of the misty threats around you have dissipated. <laughs> I took Yay. that for now. <laughs> <Sally>. <laughs> I took Uh, Kinry kind of looks up from where he was crouching. Ooh, that was weird. Ah, pretty fun. Everybody okay? Anybody need a little healing? Please. Oh, okay. Come here. Yeah, me too, please. I will split. Let's see. I was fully ready for you to just divert all healing to Tori when he said that. <laughs> Bully Camellia Day. <laughs> this is for Camellia. Yay. That is 18 heal. That's a lot of heal for someone with hooves. <laughs> and for my buddy Tark, that is 16. Nice. Now we have to draw camellia and stilettos. <laughs> <laughs> and hoof, hoof stilettos? Hoof. Who feels? <gasps> <laughs> um, Kenry kind of looks back to you guys. Do you. Do you think the others are down here? What do you mean? From my hometown? No, no. The lady who put us here, she was only mad at us, right? So, no. I'm sure everybody in your town is fine. But the, f the whole ground underneath the town collapsed, right? Yeah, well, uh... Well, you know, we found each other pretty easy. So if they were down here, we'd probably have found them already. Yep. You guys are adventurers and heroes, though. We're, we're just... We're just people. You know? They're just... They're just men. They're just ordinary men. Hmm. Nah, I'm sure they're fine. Mm. I mean, we're just people too. We're just, you know, people who try a little harder. That's all. Just try a little harder. Yeah, that's all it takes to be a hero. Have you not been listening to anything I've been telling you? That's. I mean, that's kind of insinuating that everyone in my town just didn't try hard enough. Well, I mean, best I mean. Camellia what? elbows him in the side. We were just innocent men, and if being a hero is so important to you, then surely the people that you're looking out for would be just as important. Yeah. You're nothing without people to put you on your pedestal. 
And what? if they were here to be found, I mean, we've been walking around forever, then we would have seen them. I mean, I don't know. Do you guys see any sign of any other survivors? Unless they died. Or wandered in the mist. That's what that We won't know until we get back. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Tell you what, you look out for other people, and if you see anybody, you let us know, we'll go save them. We'll keep an eye out, too. Gee, thanks. Kind of looks away, distracted. A miserable little pile of secrets! But enough talk! <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, we're just normal men. We're just innocent men. Oh, oh, oh. That clip. <sighs> so, uh, after a few more minutes, um, Colm is just still passed out on the floor. Um, looks kind of cozy, weirdly. <laughs> um, but small returns. Uh, okay, we shouldn't be a uh, too long waiting for what happened here. There were weird, like, mirror versions of us that attacked us from the mist. Really? Well, that's not good. <laughs> we should probably get away from the mist as soon as we can. In that case, shall we? Shall we just go a little further out into the... Away from the mist? She's, yeah. She's just kind of slowly moving away as she's talking. <laughs> just make, making her way along. Um, but as you move along, you kind of see better the view um, of, of your surroundings. This kind of um, very dark um, land lit by kind of oddly comforting fronds and founts and flora uh, that exist here. Very strange and slightly familiar but equally alien ecosystem of plants and nature and flora and fauna. It's not massively dissimilar to the Fey realms, uh, minus kind of distinct colour theme changes. Um, but, uh, it is definitely a lot more ominous feeling and dangerous. Whereas most of the, a lot of the Fey lands has been uh, either populated or put in control of the different courts. Nil feels a lot more of a no man's land, at least in the area you're currently in. So, so was there like a was there like a, a shadow version of me, or like a reflected small, or not that we saw? Oh, <clears throat> are you you are you sure you okay with that? Yeah, no. Getting used to uh, it. I'm just putting on the other shoulder sure? I can, now. I can, I can make Winnie big, and we can put him on her. <sighs> As, as Winnie croaks, like, a hundred feet or so in the distance, you just hear, like, a weird echoing of that sound, but a lot more nightmarish version. So Winnie's just like, and you just hear, it's just like, Let's okay. just... <laughs> Let's oh. just get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah. Um... My guy, uh, he should be here any second. I was kind of hoping that would be like some weird semi-conscious cue for him to end as soon as And suddenly! <laughs> and suddenly! <laughs> oh, you know me so well. Um, you do see this kind of, um, 
slight kind of beam of light, only about as tall, as tall as a man, an ordinary man. What is a man? Uh, <laughs> uh, you. Appears. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, this kind of sliver of light appears, and from it steps um, a drow man, Mister Drow Man. Kind of a lot more blue skin tone in hue, kind of a dark midnighty blue, um, with various uh, tattoos and patterns on his skin, and just pitch black hair, kind of long, um, slightly longer than Tarquin's, and has a feeling, just a gentle feeling of like not fully like Fabio being blown in the breeze all the time but it has an airiness to it um and uh he has really quite long pointed drow ears and is dressed uh in this kind of mix of robe and uh leather armor <sighs> Must all be Small's friends. Oh, there you are, Small. Didn't see you there. Yeah. Ah. 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 You got me. Um. Uh. Guys. Uh. Friends. This is. <laughs> is your seagull called friends? I. I. Yeah. He kind of, I feel, I, feel, I wondered, because, like, I, I keep saying friends, and he just, ah. Yeah, he keeps saying his name. Yeah, okay. You, you name him that? Yeah. Uh, okay. I name him after my friends. Oh. Is your friend, are your friends called, is one of your friends called friends? Or... No, they're right here. These guys. confusing every time the word friends is mentioned friends just <laughs> kind of <laughs> tennis match watches whoever is saying his <laughs> name at the time <laughs> uh well i mean do you want to introduce yourself because uh you, you really like to introduce yourself you've had the, like, the whole thing going on well yes usually i do but now i feel like there's a lot of pressure there i uh, um, well, uh, friends. <laughs> oh, ah, I see. Um, well, uh, compatriots. Ah, doesn't know that one, does he? Uh, my, my name is, uh, Illumir Zenfaro. Uh, you can just call me Illumir. And, uh, I will be Illumir. your... Hi. Uh, I will be your guide to, uh, hopefully get you in one piece to Devestka's, the, uh, nearby town I hear you wanting to go to, to leave this lovely, wonderful, very undeadly place. Yes, please. We need to get back to the surface as soon as possible. Wonderful. Um, and who are these people again small oh all right so this is luto yeah. this he makes really good fried cookies this is tarquin uh we haven't real you know there hasn't been much conversing this happened uh be fun and camellia my mom has threatened them all and also um they fought them like mirror versions of themselves Oh, have you been, have you been in that really cursed area again? Well, I felt bad for leaving Cone there, so I had, to, I had to go back, you know? Kind Want this? Puts a couple of fingers up to his temple. Do I, do I want him? Yes. Not for, for what exactly, for business Bifon just drops him 
Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Um. Right. Well. Uh. We should probably make camp for now. Kind of get the uh, house rules down. Make sure that we are safe and responsible in the in the realm of Nil. We wouldn't want anyone to, uh, well, I'd say I end up fighting themselves, but it appears you've uh, beat me to that, so. Um, yes, wonderful. All right, does anyone know how to light a campfire? Oh, yeah. I think I do. Oh, okay. Oh, no, please go ahead. Be my guest. Um, I wave my hand and the campfire appears. Create bonfire. Did, did you? How did how did you do that? Yeah, I can do that as many times as I want. Look at this. Boop, boop, boop. Three more campfires. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's uh. Wow, that's pretty pretty useful. I usually just have a lumber and tinder box, so. Oh, apparently I can only this. have one active at a time. So when I do the other ones, they just keep the previous moving. ones poof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you do it fast enough, it looks like there's loads. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wonderful. Well, uh, let's settle down and uh, see what. I'm going to get you a shirt that says, I visited Osprey and all I got was this deity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yes, what what are as you kind of all settle in for the evening and um, kind of uh, get comfortable under this giant mushroom, uh, kind of just lighting the way, but also some form of shelter and protection. So, um, are, you, are you all mages or studiers of the arcane, fighters, prolific? Hunters like small here, or...? I mean, we're adventurers. <laughs> this might go very wrong, depending on what this music is. <laughs> Fuck it. I was enjoying Final Fantasy Resident Evil. Oh, <laughs> well now you've got whatever the fuck this is, uh, Final Fantasy Deadly Premonition? Uh <laughs> Sweet. Adventures. So do you have like one of those cheesy little group names like uh, the, the, I can't think of any. Like the Breakfast Club? Oh, that would be so cheesy. It would, wouldn't it? It really would, my goodness. <laughs> it's the breakfast club, isn't it? Mm -hmm. hmm? Yeah, your group name, it's it's the breakfast club, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep, sorry about that. Really, uh... Trot in that one! <laughs> and, uh... Alright, all right, you're batting a thousand here. Uh, trying my best. And, uh, all your first time in Nil? Ever anyone been before? Uh, I imagine you, good sir, have been. Looks to Tarquin. Uh, well, I don't remember now. Really? Yeah. Oh. Is it like a trauma thing, or amnesia? Like a disease? Uh, well... I am a little confused now. Oh, was that before or after you met me? <laughs> I, I kid. Out of curiosity, though. Before meeting you, of course. Oh. That was actually a nicer response than I expected. Um... Well, there may be some people in Deveskus that may be able to help you. There's a fair few historians and uh, therapists and other such workers there. 
Actually, I would need a surgeon if there's anyone here. A surgeon? Yes, yeah, someone qualified. Well, you wouldn't find an unqualified surgeon in Tavescus. What for? Uh, nothing, I just need to put my arm back before it rots. Kind of opens his mouth in shock and just holds that facial expression for a sec. Oh. I see. Well, I'm uh, sure there'll be someone that can help with that. No, I hear there's some fancy technological advances going on with some of the artificers there. May be able to craft you an even better arm than you had before. Hmm. Then you might be able to tell me where I can find these people. Oh, uh, in Devestkus. Uh, I'm not familiar with them personally. Just hearsay, I'm afraid. All right, I'll ask around. Sounds like a worthwhile gig. Have uh, you seen any other people kind of wandering around here? Not, not any alive ones. Uh, can we just kind of stares into the floor? <laughs> I know, right? Jesus. Uh, but not, not seemingly any humans, if that's what you mean. Okay, thank you. Kind of giving him like a flat look with the pursed lips, <laughs> you know, just kind of like... <laughs> Sorry, that was uh... I get ahead of myself sometimes, I have to apologize. Um, no, uh, anyone who finds themselves out here in the wilds without a worthy guide usually, unfortunately, does end up one way or the other I'm perished, deceased, consumed. So what brought out of you out here? Small? Ah, uh, just escaping fame. Looking for a bit of a different lifestyle, seeing if I could, I could uh, hack it down here. Probably not, but it's been, uh, it's been a nice change. I am nervous about going back up, though. Especially if mom finds me or people recognize me. Just need like a new identity, just go somewhere no one will recognize me. That would be great. And oh. yourself? Oh, well, I'm from here. <laughs> uh, well, not here. <laughs> but, um. No, I, uh. Got tired of all the fancy houses and politics. <laughs> Found myself. So... You decided to live next to a death forest. Well, I found myself growing intrigued at the natural phenomena of the deadly wilderness, yes. Um, and, you know, I rely on my knowledge for any parts that, uh, where there are gaps in terms of, you know, what the fuck is that? Will it kill me? I don't know. I think I read about this one thing in a book once, you know? It's done me pretty well so far. Interesting choice. Hmm. Well, a lot of people need a guide. And a lot of people pay very well for a guide. Just goes, like, awkwardly quiet. <laughs> We can split it, or I can, you know, I don't want to have to call mom, but I can, I can give her a sending and see uh, if she loan me anything. Okay, how much is it to get us to a place where we can get back up to Easy Prey? Well, ideally, uh, it'll be 20 gold now, and, uh... 40 gold on safe arrival to Deviscus. And hey, if you don't die, you don't have to pay the bigger half. Look around. 
Alright, it's five gold each. Come on. Alright. I guess so. Mm -hmm. I have removed five gold from my character sheet. Hey. Thank you kindly. I'll also put some money in for the uh, for the arrival part, because we're gonna make it back. Yeah, sure. No, every group says that. How long is it gonna take? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's kind of hard to tell time here. Uh, so we'll probably only need one or two rests. Nah. This one included. So, it shouldn't take us too long. It depends, you know, if the entire ecosystem and landscape has shifted, which it ha wants to do, so and every so and then. Hey, uh, how do people end up here? Can they just be like, can they just fall here from the top? Or do they have to be teleported here? Some kind of magic? A bit of yes to both. Hmm. There are physical access points from Isafray itself, usually fairly deep underground. Uh, but there are also points of natural teleportation that have arisen since the kind of arcanic uh, appearances a couple of hundred years ago. That's why some speculate that the center of the of the planet Isafray itself is it is pure arcane weave. Hmm. And some hold Nil in very high regard for being sacred because of it. Interestingly. Mm. I don't really like it, if I'm being honest. It's not to everyone's taste. And don't yeah. get me wrong, I like the sun. May I roll a perception check on this man? What are you looking for? Vibes. Oh, the perception vibe check? Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. 17. Um, he definitely seems to be kind of in line with everything he's been saying. Um... You can tell that he is a definite fan, nerd, geek of nature, if you will. Um, mm. His armor and clothing suggest that of someone who is outdoors a lot and needs to survive, but is also very fond of comfort and movability. Um, kind of very comfy shoes, um, but good for distance. Uh, he's got enough things to kind of survive. He's not like full nil bear grills um <laughs> he's kind of a uh, slightly more scholarly type um who you might not expect to be proficient out here in these kinds of environments but he seems to get by really well and uh it does help that he with a 17 it appears that he is some sort of druid how many parties you lose out here Ah, uh, that information I don't share with current clients, I'm afraid. We pay the gold. You did. And I will do everything in my power to make sure you do not join those who did perish. Well, how can we be sure? How can we be sure of that? can take me at my word, which I would assume you have, considering I have been hired to get you from here to Divestica's. We, we can trust him. He's got one of the best traits in town. Yeah, surviving while everybody else dies. Well, that part is a whole other little thing. Let me guess, you don't want to tell us what that is, too? Contractually obliged, darling. 
Cool. Small? He yeah. screws us over. You die too. Beef on says with what? a smile. What do you mean? Hey, what's going on? There's a cruise. I don't like boats. And also, I'm dying? What's going on? I was just... I was thinking about those fried cookies again. I'm really confused. Small was joking. I was joking. Oh! Ha 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 I got... I got... No, I got you! But I got you, you say he's okay. This is on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's totally fine. If anything dodgy happens, I'll pay you back your money and fold myself. Or find a way to slowly try and revive you. Pay me back if we're dead. You know, I'll, I'll try and revive you and then give you your 20 gold coin back. Well, that's very nice of you. You're loaded, huh? No. I, I would just pour myself out to the capitalist routine. Do autographs. Tell a lot of that shows, going on around here. Cut ribbons. Sign boobs and feet. Okay, we'll we'll try <laughs> not to die. I would appreciate that a lot. There are some things that are worse than death. She looks very concerned. <laughs> <laughs> New fear unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, as the night draws to a close, and Ludo cooks up some good fucking food, I imagine. Probably just more fried cookies at this point. Absolutely. I'm, sure I'm gonna rest on... Mm. Go ahead. Oh. Um, everyone... Oh, I, was, I was just... Since you're, moving, since you're going on, sorry. I'm gonna go up on top of the mushroom and... Uh, oh, shit. Also take a look at the forest and stuff. It is like... Do some study since this guy seems so interested in it. It's like almost sequoia height. Um, but there are lower down mushrooms that you can ease, more easily climb up and check out the environment on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything in particular you're looking for? You know, I was, like I said, I was, I'm studying Arcana recently. So, if he's so interested in this uh, area, in this uh, misty forest, I'm going to mm. see if I can pick up anything from it. And yeah. also, I like sleeping close to the stars and stuff like that. Oh. Even without an arcana roll, uh, there are all kinds of magic at work here. Very much so. I As you'd it. imagine, kind of similar to the Feywild. There's all sorts of magic and trickery and creatures and beings and spirits and all If I sorts. look really closely into into the mist, can I see the Feywilds? Is this just a mirror of the Feywilds? The, the, the temptation to jokingly say, it's funny you say that, but it's not. <laughs> Nobody cross that off, it doesn't count. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, no, I'm just joking. Please continue. Well, there are some brighter colors, which uh, is slightly surprising because most who have traveled to and come back from Nil and returned to some place in Isafray have been like, yeah, it's just so dark. I don't like it. Mm, it's too dark. Okay. Um, yeah. There is there is a surprising amount of color amidst the dark turquoise and the the dark cerulean and the and the dark green blues and the dark sea blues and the dark jades etc nice and you all eat your eat your cookies and head to sleep for the evening and Hooray. everyone gets a long rest Except... Oh, here we go. He already lost an arm. Come on. Yeah, right? That's what I was just about to say. <laughs> I was about to lose some sleep. What do you mean? I can't catch a break. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Go I can't on. accept Ludo gets a long rest. 
Oh. <gasps> oh. Umber Light Dream. Young and so mad at me, my god. <laughs> <laughs> and for what? <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> I do. <sorry. laughs> well, this isn't the one I wanted, actually. Ludo. Yeah. She has been on your mind. Yeah. In your heart. You have a dream. Her and Kenzie get asked her. Ah! No. Ah! <laughs> Dingus. <laughs> you have a dream, and you are. Where would you say Ludo's kind of most comfortable favorite location has been? Hammock between two palm trees on the beach. Hell yeah. Hammocks between two palm be mm. <laughs> palm trees on the beach. You see a uh, beach volleyball outfit umbrella. Oh, beach episode. <laughs> ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum. <laughs> <laughs> it's emotional scene, stop. But yes, exactly. Um and She's kind of faced away, looking into the... Out into the ocean. Where are all the groupers? And the salmon? Tuna. <laughs> Luke. Angel what do you do? Fish. I, uh, uh... Roll out of the hammock. Expertly, for a man so large. And, uh... Saunter my way over there, behind there. Hey, who's this pretty lady over here on the beach over here? What's this, huh? As you wrap your arms around her, there's a slight sink in your heart as there's that all-too-familiar feeling of hugging someone you so dearly care about in a dream where you know it's not them. And it can't be them. But you so want it to be. And there's the hollow feeling of her resting her head on your shoulder. Makes contact. Where are you? What do you mean? I'm doing the adventure. Where are you? She turns around and looks up at you. I miss you. I miss you too, baby. You want me to use the creepy brain guy, see if I can talk to you? She smiles and shakes her head. Okay, I know you don't Son. like him. The sound of the waves just in the backdrop. I gotta help this kid get back home and then we'll be back. It will be just a couple more days. I miss you too. As you speak, you see the blue skies turn very quickly to purple. As the sun sets. And as she replies, it turns ever more blue and indigo. I know. A girl can still miss you, can't she? Hmm. Hey, I'm gonna take you here one day. Right here, this, this beach. We're gonna go there. You have to save us first. And just for a second, you see a flash of her under the water with the knife. Ah. And you wake up and see that around you, everyone else is sleeping.
You can return to rest. And what do you do? I immediately lie down on the ground, start mm -hmm. doing push-ups. Okay. Many push-ups, furiously and angrily, until I'm exhausted. Focusing entirely on the push-ups and the muscles and the strain and the pain and nothing else. And definitely not thinking about that nightmare and just immediately just distracting myself, redirecting my thoughts. You're still just in your periphery. Can't help but hear her voice. As you do all these push-ups. How long is he working up for? Till he's exhausted. Until like basically he needs to sleep because his body is can't can't do anything else. As Ludo eventually falls back to sleep. Just through blurred eyes, as if he's himself just awoken in the hammock again. Morning time on the beach. Just a blurry vision. The same blonde figure standing on the beach. Looking out into the ocean. No, your vision is blurred and though it is still but a dream. Can he control he... himself? Can he like, is it like a conscious, I can walk around dream? Not at this point. Okay. After having exhausted your body. You see, as the dream comes to a close, she turns her head back to you. before holding herself and looking back out to the sea. And that's where we're going to end today's session. <laughs> Baby chicks, no! The game is fantasy, but the hurt is real. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we're going to do bros on the road, they'll all get better, okay? <laughs> There bros we go, on bros road. on the road too. <laughs> I was gonna say bros that music choice road. during the dream sequence was diabolical. Dirty. Yeah. Dirty. I'm sorry. Rude. I'm sorry. I love you guys. <laughs> I wouldn't have hurt you if I didn't love you. <laughs> you can tell your therapist I said that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I find solace <laughs> in the image of friends on Ludo's back. Doing one hop per push up, just helping <laughs> yeah. him keep, keep count. Yep, yep, yep. Up. Yes. <laughs> if y'all ever have to do like rowing, speed rowing, I'll just be <laughs> iconic, just up. Winnie on the little drum. Up. And then just <laughs> little, little barks from. <laughs> barks from friends. Big GG! Big okay, GG. Look. Happy anniversary. Yay! Yay! It wasn't anything huge. You know, it wasn't anything crazy. What? There was tons of more drops. To be. That's true. Got the fed was, today. We mm. ate good. Ooh, nom 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 nom. What was y'all's favorite <laughs> lore drops? Seeing Kamamia. Didn't Mom hear what we, <laughs> we heard her. <laughs> Meeting Mamelia. <laughs> Mamelia. Yes. Finding out JC does a great Dracula impression. <laughs> <laughs> Always the best. <laughs> Such enunciation. <laughs> Boy. Who's Nye? Nye? Oh, my? Yeah. 
Maya, who's my oh, Tarquin? My. Who's that? I think he picked up my hair. Your friends for my Tarquin? Who's my? Oh my god. <laughs> she was waving. I had to be nice. <laughs> my will remember this. If she's even still alive. What? So hurt. So hurt. Oh my god. Um, Ludo, who are whistles? And the <laughs> other girl. Can I share the art? Um, you can. They're just art oh. references until I draw the oh. Ludo. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, Literal Meg kitchen nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Megrin toast coat and whistles. Toasty. Oh, I, when I was coming up with a name, I was like, Toast Coat, are you fucking kidding me? That's adorable. That's, that's great. <laughs> Megrin. Thank you, me. Megrin Toast Coat. Her coat is toasty. And she is deep. This is also deep. This is Toasty, who was kind of like a sister figure, older sister figure. No. Mm -hmm. Boy, yeah. sure. <laughs> Look, and this is my sister figure. She's, she's dead. Uh, this is Whistles. <laughs> He's a really cool guy. He's also dead. <laughs> and whistles called him Kuya. Oh, I my heart sank. Mm, <laughs> I took that note, bitch. <laughs> I took that note so hard. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, I know whistles. Whistles adorable. I love whistles. Megrin might have subconsciously yes. been the template for why Umberlie is. I mean, Umberlie is like Meglin if Meglin was not slightly tomboyish and uh, and co and couldn't cook and was also like twice the height yeah. <laughs> and wore makeup rather than like tattoos. But yeah, pretty much. <coughs> Otherwise, identical. <laughs> I love this, by the way. The mirror match is one of my favorite things in V picked length, and there's freaking three of them. Yeah. But the fucking levels of this Indiana Jones action figure <laughs> in a fucking bridge <laughs> is great. so good. Wait, I've just That's opened it. It's in the memes it. channel. <laughs> oh my god. That's brilliant. That the brownie face level. and just like, whoa, whoa. Where are his eyes? <laughs> Does he have eyes? Or am I... Harrison, He's no. Going... Tino. <laughs> <laughs> this action figure. Oh my god, look at Harrison this fucking... Harrison he's got no eyes. No, that's... And he's an action figure. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> that, that is an look, action I'm a fan. figure. Talk that about is like not that. Harrison Ford. <laughs> Look at the arm. <laughs> superb. In trigger grip. <laughs> I, I, I love that. You could have picked anything, but that specifically. specifically. Oh, it's too good. Yeah. Oh. I don't. Good, I don't Mike. want. I don't want the Indiana Jones game or any more Indiana Jones films unless it's specifically has a Tales of the Torn Veil reference in it. <laughs> Is that asking too much? Is that asking too much? <laughs> Troy Baker! <laughs> Listen! <laughs> oh my god. So good. Ah, uh, So many bingos. This flute yes. belongs in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you couldn't tell the, the early on charisma checks if you failed, you were getting an evil clown. Yeah, I figured. Mist was like, I um... like that. Give me. I also forgot a really important detail, and I'm so sad I forgot it. What is it? I, I don't know if I can. 
There was meant to be another guide. There was meant to be a spiritual guide that was going to help you through the mist. And I can't Ooh. believe I fucking forgot because it was going to be the dumbest fucking shit. I can't believe it! I knew I forgot. Oh. I was, I was going to forget something. I literally didn't what? even write it down. No, you don't want to I think that worked out. Oh, you'll repurpose him <laughs> for something else. What do you mean, him? What do you mean? Whoever it is. <laughs> you'll repurpose you know it? Much. Her? Them? Them. You know too much. Yeah. But yes. Exciting. Exciting. So we have lots of lots of new friends. Lots of new friends. We have small moss. Who is small Yay. and perpetually terrified, and we love her. Um, we have Colm. First name, first name man. Mm -hmm. We have so many temptations. <laughs> we, have... we when uh somebody did a perception check and I just was so tempted to call him a meanie. <laughs> Colm meanie. Mm -hmm. I figured nobody would get that reference. <laughs> Mimi Cole. Unless you're a Trekkie. Oh, I'm not. No. Also not. And then we've got uh, definitely a drow with this fucking name. Alomir. Alomir is in Faro. There is a slight role on Faro, but you don't have to say it. But there, it, it is there. He will make a point. Um, How should we do the uh, the bingo cards for all, all of us who got like single bingo or? Yeah. So, um, blah, 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 blah. we will do another like monitored giveaway one next week because it's another special week next week. <gasps> I think so. Super maybe. extra special. It's my birthday. Wow. Mm -hmm. No, not it yours. Is. It's, it's Key's birthday? It's Rube's How birthday? How do you know that? It's my birthday! It's Key's birthday! It's Key's birthday! This time next yeah. week, it will be my birthday. I don't want to grow up. Um, Should have been mysterious again. <laughs> 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 maybe it is, maybe it isn't. <laughs> looking maybe uh it's friends' birthday everyone will celebrate that um but yeah so we'll do another round of giveaway cards next week um and then after that point we'll just have the bingo cards for shits and giggles and fun no pressure we'll do like a bigger one that you can do rolling um as for the ones now if you're not in the discord and you have a bingo card that has a bingo of any form, send it to me on Twitch or Twitter or forever hold your peace. I cannot check them. I have to buy membership if I have, want to check them or get your email addresses and I don't want to get into all of that. Um, if you do, if you have got one, put them in the Discord and you'll get a little giveaway. Yay. Um, if you have given biddies, Bitty boos, bitty boops, uh, <laughs> subs, gift subs, any of them things. Thank you. Um, Bye. Thank <laughs> you. Um, then send those. Uh, I think I got your name or your names earlier. Um, but if so, send me a message either here or on Twitter, or on Discord, and be like, Hi, I did the I did the thing where we gave you this much support, and uh, we will give you extra stuff, because it's a celebration. It's Yay. a celebration! It's a celebration! It's a celebration! <laughs> um, yeah, and if you didn't get a bingo today, no worries, you might get one next week! Yeah! And it's all stuff that you can redeem on the coffee anyway. So nobody's fully missing out. You know, it is it is all good. So it's, it's okay. Please, please do not fear and be like, I can never get the prize. It's like, no, you can. 
but this giveaway no no it's different thank you but yes thank you guys so much for support and love mm. and mm. cherishment and and enabling us you know this was meant to be me enabling my friends and them enabling me so we could do D and be crazy together but then you guys have to enable all of us and you do so thank you thank you i have to be up in a disgustingly short amount of time to go and get dog for dog sitting all day <laughs> but it has been freaking worth it and, thank you key um, great session thank you very thank much thank you guys <laughs> i, I was you. mean today you guys did fucking awesome um and yes, all the links. Thank you, Scorpio, for holding down the fort. Mod love. And um, there will also be some stuff on the Twitter, hopefully, in this next week, if I remember. And if not, it'll be the week after, if I remember, because it's also a busy week. So if not, it'll be the weeks after. But uh, there will also be a couple of little special bits and bobs on Twitter. Ooh. So go check those out if you want even more opportunities to get free shit. Because we're very grateful for you guys. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Whoa! Any, any, any last words? When you eat a really that. good burger, mm -hmm. afterwards, your fingers smell like burger. Oh my god! <laughs> you know, I'm really tempted to give you inspiration for that. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> nice. Maybe one day. Um wow, incredible. Uh can anyone can anyone beat that? Mankind ill needs a saver such as you, JC. <laughs> <laughs> incredible. Incredible. Any any raises on that? The the competition is heavy. I'm gonna get scoop again. Yay! Yay! I'm gonna scoop. What about that pet joker? <laughs> Full trump card. Any any word? Any final parting thoughts, Tarquin? Darian? Sorry, I, I see the names on the screen. They're just small brain. Yeah, I just want to say that for God to be good, evil is an absolute necessity in this world. That's it. Yes. Oh. Yo! That's metal as fuck. I love that. <laughs> Holy shit. Blew any Kingdom Heart quotes that were about to be made out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I was I'm just reading that. an old Castlevania note. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, for me, uh, two small piece of, uh, pieces of advice. <laughs> yes. Um, number one, um, have you ever had a dream where you, <laughs> where you, where you wish that, where you, that, where you could, where you would, that you would, that you could ever go again? And message number two? Bros on the road too. And until next week. Bros on the road too. Beautiful. I'm gonna go have another nosebleed. Good night, everybody. Take care. Much love. We love you guys. Later. Bye. Thank you all so bye. much. Bye bye. <laughs>